Hello and welcome to tonight's YouTube of Black Seas. I am Matt from Last Bastion, and he, you can't see him, but he is Josh from Last Bastion. Hello. Tonight we'll be trying not to mess up playing the more advanced rules within this book. Your thing is getting Enjoy. Better. My singing's getting better. It is, yes. So it's not as bad as usual. Not as bad, no. It's still better, just not as bad. <laughs> so, you know. Okay. Yeah. I only killed one cat tonight, not two. <laughs> so yeah, what we're going to do is, we're going to purposely, with fingers, we're going to purposely sail our ships, some of them towards each other, to try out boarding and musket fire and close range shenanigans. Because last week we established, yes, you can shoot at long range. And you can just dance around each other and be boring. So tonight we're just going to get wading in. We've put a load of islands on to crash into. So you can see what happens when a boat crashes. Collisions, yes, because they do do collisions. Collisions and all sorts. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, feel free to comment like you have all been. Uh, telling us what you'd think of it, what you don't think of it. If you're honest, it's a game, you can, you can rip it a new one if you want. I personally quite enjoy it. I might not buy the end of it when all my ships are dead because I've crashed them into islands, but yes. So, we'll spin it, then you can look at the table. Oh, the aim is off when she's. Oh, that foggy! Hello Froggy! Oh, hello Froggy! Ha 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 ha! Hello Froggy! Ooh ooh! He is a Froggy! Ooh ooh ooh! He is a Froggy! Ooh ooh! He is a Froggy! Right, there we go. We're all in picture there. Excellent. Let's tighten those up. Right, get cracking. So we've chosen the wind direction, which is going to be pointing we've, towards the camera. Yeah. We've got uh, Barry's per, uh, snake is an aspect of Gork. Then we've got a mace. Mace has joined us again. This <laughs> is good evening bull bags. Who's mace? It's mace, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, bull bag. How are you? You do realise I would never say the person's name, don't you? Why? That's not so fun. You've got a name and shame. No, it's great. <laughs> name and shame are watchers. If they want to watch this shit, <laughs> then he's naming and shaming. Alright, so doing that, doing that, doing that, we're all going to be regular. Yep. And... We are not going to decide where the wind goes, we put it where it is. Set your ship on battle sails. Yep. Touching the edge. One there. One there, and one here. Oh, okay. so we're all, we're all going uh, straight that way then, yeah? So we'll go straight line. So Matt's really determined how we're going to set up. Isn't that nice of him? Been thinking of how to beat you all day, and this seems the most logical way. <laughs> With a stick! <laughs> so, battle sails in line. Woohoo! Mm. You need to get those two Spanish flags off. Oh, the Spaniel, they're supposed to be on your shippy rupees. No, I've uh, got um, fly, flags on. And the Spanish ones make it to you then. You just literally chucked a load of flags out at me. Well, that's because I gave you the flag to put on your frigate, mate. <laughs> your frigate's supposed to have a flag. I don't need to put that flag on. What if they confuse it with mine? Well, they shouldn't do, that's why they're, they've been painted. What if they can't see the paint? Oh, okay, all right, okay, okay. What if they're blind? <laughs> and they've got, they got to watch this in Braille. I mean, <laughs> Brian, I'll, I'll do, I'll uh, watch a video. But say, Imagine what uh, a blind... Ju audio descriptive, that's what you've got to do. Mm. I was just thinking what a blind person's TV would look like. Hmm? So, trying to read all the Braille on the screen. We need to... Well, well that's I'll... not how I said to set up, is it? Well, you never told me how to set up. I've just copied what you did. No, you didn't. Well, yeah, okay. Admittedly, I've put my ships further out of the way of an island straight ahead. All right. No, the whole point is that you put them in the island straight ahead, mate. Eh? Oh, it's called manoeuvrability. 
And the way to make you crash is first. <laughs> oh, that's what it is. You want me to crash first, right? There you go. Right, done. Right, okay. What's an activation marker? We have those. Oh, I wonder if that's what the seagulls and stuff were. Oh, yeah! <laughs> well, that explains what the seagulls and whales are. They're activation markers. Give over. You've put them beside your ship to notify the, the opponent that your ship has been. What, do you want to be seagulls, whales, dolphins? What do you want to be? Probably or just plain water? Seagulls. There's a seagull. So I can crap on you from a great height. There's a seagull. I'll open my mouth ready. Oh, on oh. the back of those are dolphins. I'll have whales. Well, well, well. <laughs> I ain't going to talk in Welsh all the way through, though. Right, so, if you have set up correctly, fingers crossed, the weather gauge should mean we tie. Yes. So it's a roll off, I believe. Yup. So, we are now on our first turn. Yep. Which is turn one. So, ba -ba -ba. we're going to start at battle. And remember, if you go down to sail levels, you take D3 damage. Just so you know. If you go down to what? If you go down by two sail. Yeah. Nurse. <laughs> if you go down too quickly. <laughs> you go, if you go down too quickly, you choke and uh, you take D3 damage. Okay. So if you went from battle sails to stop, you would take damage. If you went from full sail to light sail, I Do you reckon that's this. probably an easy way of doing collision, in a sense? What, just damage each other? Yeah. It could be neat. It'll be, be more, more advanced. So. It'll also be interesting because if you took somebody's sails out with a uh, chain shot or whatever it is, and you that aim for the sails and it knocked all the sails out, actually the ship would go, oh, yeah. and take more damage. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually going to try and take your sails out this time. Okay. Yeah, so, um, be a dice off them. Matt's using four dice for the wrong dice roll. <laughs> Where's the fourth dice then? No, you only need one dice. No, but there's three, three and one. Does it really ma matter? Yeah. But those are the dice in odd there. number of dice out on the table. It's really annoying. Is it? Can't have an even number. Psychological warfare to me. I miss. And that's just to uh, cut the feed. What? Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, that would be an amazing shot if I'd have just thrown that dice and it hit the... Off button. Off button. Oh, with enough force really to turn it off. So. Alright. That gets a one. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. I get rolling. Go first. So. I go first. It was lowest dice roll goes first. You don't know. Oh yeah, it is a lowest dice roll game, isn't it? Is it? Well yeah, because when you're firing... <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember anything, do you? <laughs> 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 Jesus. <laughs> what does it say about going first anyway? Well, we've just done it anyway, so. <laughs> no, it's alright, you can go first if you want. <laughs> I just made that shit up. Oh, well, God. it says the model closest to the compass goes first. But if you're both at the same position, it's a roll -off. then it's a roll off. Are you uh, double checking that then? I just want to know that it's the lowest or the highest. Oh, God. Where's it? Where's it? Where's Generally, it? it's the highest. Oh, it's the weather gauge, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. No, I was actually on the right page. <laughs> Decide randomly. Well, that's not any use, is it? Random has got, got to be a dice one, hasn't it? That's Still, the table looks high or lower. I mean, yeah. Jesus. When you're using the D10s for shooting, it works on the lowest result for successes. Well, uh, I mean. But at the end of the day, normally we can't. I thought you were the viewers. Do you really want to go first that bad? <laughs> nope, I just want to wind you up. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, you go first. So, at batter cells, you get to do two movements, don't you? You do. Yeah? Yeah. If you're at. 
What's the other one? Light is so if one. If you're at full sails, you get to do three movements. Mm, but you can't go to full sail. No, because I need to go facing that way to get the wind behind you. Yeah, or at that angle. Because mm. you've got to uh, catch the back arc of your mm. ship over. So, I'll start off then, my break. So, got a movement of five, I believe. Break sails at five, so that is movement five. So, one, two, three, four, five. We've got the turn because I'm going to go straight into Island of Wines. And we're measuring from the rear of the ships. Yes. Because we find it easier. Because we're having the uh, wave markers as well. It's the line on the battle sails, mm. the light sails, full sails. A lot easier. That's what we're measuring from. So that way it's a lot more uh, precise, than, isn't it? It's all right. So then, no, I'm actually supposed to be using the red turn arc, not the white. The uh, yellow, sorry. I hope you wouldn't realise. Yeah. Well, I'm giving myself a tighter turn arc, then aren't I? So, turn that way. And we'll sail. Now that has put me at an arc where I'm still good. No. No. Because it needs to be that way. It's... I think on there, we, we said it comes from the point beside your ship, didn't we? Yeah, we're saying that the wind yeah. is blowing all across yeah. that way. Because if you were doing it by what we thought the rules might be, the front of your ship is pointing towards here, which means you'd be like slowing down. But what we said the other week was, forget that. Look at where your ship is in relation to the edge where the wind is coming from, rather. Because the wind isn't going that way, it's going that way. No, this does only mean, though, so. we've only got a four-directional wind. If you're doing the full eight-point wind... No, you can have the eight-directional wind. Yes, we can. Right. If we're doing the eight-directional, direct, I'm actually at a slower speed. Yeah, but we're not, because it's not coming from this point here. It's coming from that point. So yeah. anywhere on this board edge... If you're facing towards, obviously, if you're facing towards it, you'll be going slower, yeah. which means you are going slower, but I think it's fucking shite. <laughs> so what I've decided is we're going to change Warlord's rules, and if you are pointing your ship towards where the wind is coming from, and it's coming in a straight line from the edge of the board, yeah. when it hits oh, your sails... Oh, sorry, yeah, I forgot the direction yeah. of the actual compass. So when it hits your sails, it's coming from that edge. Yeah. So yeah, I'm still still good for doing what I'm doing now. So I would say you're good. So now, number five? People will probably disagree with me, but to be honest, it's the way we play it. They, they, they can play it how they like, like the guy who said he wants to bring other rules in. He's more than welcome to. This is the whole point of these games. So that is so the add first rules and ship take away sh And take away ships, take away sails. Oh my god, take away rules is what I meant to say. I believe you did say we need a take measure for this because of the... Fine, he's done any issues. I did, I did. I'm, I'm just going to go, I'm just going to go twice. Well, you're not with the island in the way, have you? Without turning, I've got no island in the way, so... That is ten. That battle sail. Because that's what you've got going. Nice wind, that's nice wind sound. Yeah, this board is shite. You, you, you know why that is, don't you? Because it's a folded bit of paper. I know, a folded bit of paper, whose idea was that? We should iron it. Well, and hope, and hopefully not set it away. Mm. Uh, yeah, we need to get a mat of some sort for this. Oh, we've got one there. Hey! I thought you had a mat, didn't you? Yeah, we do. Uh, You're a man. A, a vinyl type. Yes, we do. Yeah, we'll use that next time. Okay. Yeah, because we'll just watch it much better. Okay. This is rubbish. Unless we glue it to a bit of wood. The uh, easiest way of doing it is you want uh, perspex on top. What, laminate? No, uh, you, won't, you won't be able to fit this into a laminate. If I get a big enough laminate, you would. Oh, yeah, you would be able to that way, but it'd be better just to get a bit... We need to find somebody with a really big laminate, 
Saying that, we'll knock up one of the window panels of glass. Surround it with glass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, next then, we've got two boats again. Level and level. Uh, actually, no, you're off centre. Alright, I'll be with Mine right in the middle, you put yours right at the edge. Well, saying that, I could actually do it because I'm on a crease. Like that. You should have flattened out your crease, though. I know, I should have done, shouldn't I? So that's a bit shocking. <laughs> right, go on, it. <laughs> well, dice. Oh, I see oh, your crease and make you and 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 a dice roll. Oh, you're still going first anyway. <laughs> that must be the one I rolled earlier. <laughs> you must have done, yeah. Um, he is going to go. 10 straight. He's going to go 10 straight and turn. Straight. Well, thank for this. You can turn at any point during your movement, can't you? No. Oh no, no. You got to do that first five. So it's the first five, then yeah, turn, then, then turn. The next five, then turn. Yeah. It's all right. I'll keep you straight, unless you turn, and then you'll be going by ah. an angle. That's the basic the bugler on the ship. It's going. I am going to laugh if you've not got a big enough turn angle to get past that island. Well, it's red, isn't it? So, it's that. Alright, let's check it. Because actually, it's difficult to do that. Here. Does it match for that, though? No, because I put it at the side rather than the back. So the back should be turning. To that. So yeah, oh, you're still easy to clear that, haven't you? Yeah, they need to sort something out with these. It's still awkward. Mind you, Sales of Glory is awkward, so I always find it awkward if Sales of Glory. Wargaming in general is awkward. Any wargaming where you've got any tape measure and big things. Yeah. Porn. Porn wargaming. Porn wargaming. <laughs> the only true game where you've got to beat it We off. could do a Patreon. The Naked Wargamers. Oh, no, I'm pretty good for that. Uh, I've seen your belly once too many times. <laughs> we just Wargamer the Naked, and then all the girls would like pay to watch us. That's fine. Well, Don't all the girls would pay to stop watching us. <laughs> pay you to turn this shit off. Get some real models. That's ten. Go on for the next one. Oh ho! Ah, ah, I'm Alan Partridge. Strike six. Oh, that's you. Well, I know, I actually won that one. Oh. So, five. In, with this game, I think it's going to be quite hard to sail into islands. Mm -hmm. Only because in Cells of Glory, you chose a card which told you. Yeah. This is pretty much you just choose it and do it. I reckon it's going to be quite easy to sail into an island because all you've got to do is not turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, there is that. <laughs> there is that. So, we've got see. Mace. Is this Man of War reinvented then? Well, I never played Man of War. So I couldn't answer that question. Has anyone played Man of War? Do you play Man of War, Sean? Did you play Man of War, Sean? Well, I've actually asked him a question. He stayed quiet. Sean is staying quiet. He must be scared. Always whispering the answer, we just can't hear him. Whisperer. Yeah. Whisperer. So, whisper. uh, we've got a. Oh, whisperer. No, I don't for. Uh, what, hey? And, uh, um, works. Okay, right. Easy what? way to pronounce that. Works down at the bottom. We've got um, someone called Works that says he doesn't play a Man of War, so that's one person doesn't play it. So, we are now done turn one. No, we haven't. I ain't gone yet. Oh yeah, you still got your one to do, not Jesus, stop oh, me. Oh, I'm eager to be Cheating. Cheating. <laughs> I'm eager, I'm sorry, I can't help it. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Okay. So they're not actually raised, those sandbanks. They're just sandbanks. It's a skill test with a plus two. If it's a medium or small craft. And if you fail, you take D3 damage. So it's still better to avoid them. If it like sails, 2d3 if it battle sails, and 3d3 if it falls. Whoa. Whoa. So the large and extra large ships become immediately grounded unless the scenario takes otherwise. So yeah, try and 
rocky outcrops. Large and extra large. If that's like these frigates are mediums. You can't see over these. Okay. These cool. frigates are medium, so make sure that one day I'll big the larger and extra larges are. Bigger. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> you don't say! <laughs> well, Matthew. I thought they'd be smaller. Though. The last of the uh, intuitive gamers there. God, where are these guys? Oh, yeah. You got the motorized boat! Right, now we're done. So that is turn one. Turn your one, your two. We're now on turn two. Turn your two, your. So, with that then, we need to... Roll for the weather. Yep. It is a uh, one dice each. And uh, we see on the, uh, on the chart of what is going to happen. I said what, which is actually not French. What is... a kind of German. <laughs> But I am a Frenchman, so I was in Nazi Germany and I picked up a few phrases. Yeah. So, we've got a four a four. and a... Or a four, as you would say. Eight! No change! Oh, that's going to make it a lot easier now, yeah. Okay! Pretty obvious who's going first, like. Uh, that'll be a me. That'll be a you. So... <whistles> I'm coming at you, mate. a 20 inch range. I'm going to look up how to board. And what muskets and that is. And actually, what chain shot does. I might actually be able to get in with a. If I read the rules. <laughs> no! If I read the rules. before you do. Rich. I get the advantage on knowing what happens. That would be quite, you know. My dear God. Right. Right, right, the modifier for aiming high with chain shot is only a minus one, not a minus two. Roll twice on the critical table when aiming high. And choose which result to apply. However, your range of guns is halved. If you're not aiming high, chain shots have a minus two to hit. Well, yeah, of course they do, because they're literally just two little balls with a chain in between. Yeah. Double shot. The range of all the guns are now 8 inches. All shots have a minus 1 to hit, but double your damage. Red Heart, also known as Heated Shot. These I'm were loaded gonna... to set ships on fire when firing with these. Colonnades can't fire. If any critical damage is inflicted, the target is set on fire as well. And Grape Shot is basically, you know, giving the person wine. Uh, Callus is filled with metal balls uh, that act as a giant shotgun. The range is three, so five at point blank, and each one inflicts four points of damage with a plus two to hit by fire. Hmm, interesting. My god, you've sold straight into an island. Oh, well, we've got to work out collisions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Also, you can actually, if you do impact the island and survive it, you can actually dis disembark the island and set up gun batteries. Give over, really? Mm-hmm. That's what these are. So you can do one per turn, I believe it is. Alright. The firing arc is a straight bit, but I've got that much of an angle, I'm not going to be in <laughs> your arc, so I'm sorry. Out. So even you after all that, that. <laughs> all that, ah, oh, shite. <laughs> so, you're back. But it does mean though, I've got the ability that I can shoot you whenever you get into my arc. Fire with your bears? Yeah. Mm. Or is that what you do though? No, 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 that's what I do. Isn't you it? can declare fire with your bears as long as you haven't fired. Mm. If you fired that turn, you can't fire with your bears, but as long as you haven't fired, you can fire at bears. Yeah. So? What? Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. We haven't even using the, the markers, are we? <laughs> but it's kind <laughs> it's of all the effort to get the markers and get <laughs> Didn't use them. So. What I'm gonna do. We. Is... Oh, bless him. <laughs> Works as put. Could, could the crews disembark and build sandcastles instead? 
Um, oh. Yeah, if you want. I've, I've, didn't you recently get get those uh, models and one of them's got a sound castle with it? Yes. We could actually use that, couldn't we? Hmm. I wonder if my front guns have got an arc on you. And even range. My front guns are small. So small guns have got a range of, 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 of 14. And small guns? Arc of you sure we've got small guns? Yeah. There look. Yeah? What's that for? The wrong ship. Yeah. We'll just edit that bit. It's fine. What? You <laughs> cheating? Why go number five before turning? Mm. I then collide with that big island. Mm -hmm. Oh no, but if you keep going, going straight though, you've got, you're fine though, aren't you? What way do I turn, mate? What thing I'm going to do a turn? Can you use your little turn marker, mate? Oh, I've got a little turn marker, yay! I like it both way, yay. <laughs> what? Oh, for God's sakes. I can do that. You have to go your full. You'd have to go your full, do you? You can go. Oh, no, you do go your full. Yeah. So, I may have to fire a Shabazz as well. Looks so I'll be doing that one. So, we're both going to fire at bears. Oh no, hang on. I don't know actually. Mm. Well, I'm going to fire Ashy Bears new anyway, so. Yeah, I'm not going to fire Ashy Bears. Because I think you'll be better off firing once so you finish. So, I complete my turn. Yeah. Well, I complete the move and then I make a turn if I need to. I think I'm well in there anyway, aren't I? That's what he said. What I'll do is I'll do a tiny turn just so that I am in. Yeah. So you're going to fire as your bears. Yep. Sorry. Oh. That's the thing with these, is like with a wake marker and that having to move it, you actually move your ship as well. You don't actually want your ship like that. So it's quite easy. Didn't even 13 like inches. <laughs> 13 inches, eh? Anyway, I am on you. Just yeah. So 13 inches, I can only fire standard at you at the moment, can't I? Uh, yeah, well, you've got your two large cannon, isn't it? Yeah. So you've got two large cannon, but firing Shabers is um, a minus, and your range is a minus. So, you've got no modifiers for guns firing, it's yeah. just one gun position. Target over 10 inches is minus two. Yep. Nothing for your crew. Let's put some under threes. Nothing for moving. Nothing for size, because we're all medium, aren't we? Uh, oh, we're no, all small. smalls. Minus one for small. Small far, far out of small. Mmm. Okay. Yeah. Basically, the target size is what happens. Um, obscured? Nope. Aiming high? I'm guessing not, otherwise you'll also, you'll also auto miss. Mm -hmm. uh, and finally, she bears. So, minus two. Firing as she bears. Yeah, so minus two for firing she bears, minus one for small ship, and minus two for over. So you hit them fives. Zero to hit. I mean, to be honest, I think that's a bag of wank. Because it means you can't fire as she bears. Because in most games, they've got. I mean, they've got in this a ten is an automatic. Miss or something. So would that mean a one is an automatic hit then? So as long as a so right what the no what they've said is uh, when I want to hit a ten will always miss even if all the modifiers mean you hit on a ten. Right. If you if your dice roll needed is naught or negative number, the shot automatically misses. I think in all fairness you should have at least one tiny tiny little chance to hit, and I reckon if you get a one, a one will always. Hit in my opinion, mm. but uh, they're saying basically, me firing as she bears onto the small is not good. It, it mean, means you would automatically miss, and I can't see that because happening. I'll get a, I'll get minus for the range, minus range, minus two for, for firing as she bears, and minus one for the size of the ship. I think that's so a bit. minus four. In in all fairness, all right, yeah, it's hard to hit me. Hang on, but you're ready with your ship and your gunners. 
for me to sail past you. Minus two for fires as she bears. Yep, minus two for. Minus two? Yeah. No, uh, minus one. For small ship. For small ship. Minus one for long range. Minus two. Minus two. For Target it. over 10 inches is minus two. So yeah, so I've got a minus five there, so I can't do it. Now, we've got uh, Barry uh, is asking, is the Fire Ashy Bears like Overwatch? Twitch yes. Is, yes. Fire Ashy Bears is Overwatch. And I think, no matter what the result is, a one will always hit. Because hmm. a one, I mean, it's a one in ten chance of hitting your target. But, well, so doing it by the rules, then I can't. Doing it by the rules, you cannot hit me. Yeah, so that's okay. But I think that's shit. Yeah, it is. But it makes sense as well, I suppose. So, so I, will, I will have a go at you. So you're small. Have a go. Have a Minus go. Minus one. You. And you're over. So I'm hitting on two. Minus three. So two, yeah. Uh, I am rolling two dice. It doesn't matter what colour, but for the thing, it's blue. Yep. Normal shot. Because you do have different ammunition types. Yeah, I wonder... This is something that might annoy that guy all the week, if it doesn't say loading different ammunition is takes a turn. Because actually, at the start of the game, or start of a ship's activation, you can change the ammunition at any and all gun positions. Any gun position changes ammunition cannot shoot during the turn. All shots from the gun position will use the number of ammunition types. So we are loaded with normal guns, if you want him to change to chain shot, you will have to miss shooting that turn to load chain shot. Ah. So that requires a bit of planning. Yes, so that does make it a lot more... Do you risk missing a load mm. to stop it for something good? To which... No. But then it can shoot your load afterwards. Yeah, which is always handy. And splatter the ship. Yeah. Good, good. So with a fiery normal shot, I've nope. got an auto miss with a 10. Yeah. And I uh, definitely miss with a 10. I did so badly, I've actually just hit the island but behind thankfully, you. Thankfully, I'll be running into the island anyway, so we're all good. <laughs> right, next one is my big guy. Yep. My big guy is not going to load anything different. <laughs> there goes Robert. There goes Robert indeed. And he is going to. Go to there, and he's going to turn to there. Oh, someone's getting up close, aren't they? Pretty sure my front gun should be able to hit you. <laughs> oh, your, your one front gun. You might have a better chance. Right. Uh, you should be able to, yeah, you should be able to hit. So What's the range? That's it, because it's a small gun, that, isn't it? Well, I'm within 10. Yes, because that puts you. So I don't suffer the minus 2. On 10, yeah. But it's only one so shot. If we are gun. doing from um, actually, if you're doing ship ship to front of hull, if you're doing direct, is the firing arc? Do you want to check check what the firing arc of the front one is? So you'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, your front one is like that. Yeah. So that is just over ten, unfortunately. What? That's in. Well, if you do it, do it by well in. If you're doing by that, yeah. Are we doing it by literally no, the tip? Or no, 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 no. Did it from there yeah. to there. Oh, yeah, just like I've had you a dick Ah, oh. how does that feel? Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> right. Um, there's also rules for initial broadsides where you can get an extra dice mm -hmm. the first time you fired. Uh, number of extra dice rolls. Tiny ships get nothing, small ships get one more light cannon, medium ships get one more light cannon and one heavy cannon. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, I am firing 
a light cannon, so I can't even find. Is it red dice? Don't really matter. Oh, it's red no, dice. I might just run straight into you and see what happens. <laughs> Kamikaze. Kamikaze! Uh, my big, biggest and best ship. 14 inch range, red dice. I've got one and that, gun. That's a small one then, yeah? And that's a small, small gun, isn't a it? A small gun at the front, yeah. So. Not too bad, 14 inches. Yeah, it's not bad mm. for, for a small gun. Um, so, uh, I'm guessing it's a save to hit then. Minus three. Shooting small. Shooting small and over ten. Yep. Two and one. Four. So it's only one dice you needed as well. Yeah. Okay. That's him done. Wow, I'll drop to one frame per second. I have uh, moved twice, haven't I? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. So your next ship is your big one? Yep. Okay. So right, with of that then. That's quite interesting. It's just come up with welcome to the chat room. Welcome to the chat room. You so. can talk every day. Still at battle cells. The thing is, now I'm heading towards the wind. Well, he is. Yeah. So but he's he's beat. Yeah, but ne next turn he'll be dropping his sails, won't he? Next turn he's taking D three damage. <laughs> yeah, the counter's dropping too, would not it? It drops two, and you make one more movement. Yeah. Oh, he's <laughs> probably getting <laughs> hammered. He's getting hammered. So, I don't know what wine you that, so. Five. He's getting so hammered. This is going to feel like a new gay guy in a gay bar. Down, da 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 You're going straight towards the island. No, I'm going You're... straight past it. Uh, yeah, you are from this angle. You're going straight towards it. That's why I had to double check it. <laughs> this game and the angles are so funny. It's funny like a giant sausage. Now, with that, I've not got. Oh, have I? Have I? Have I just? You haven't, but if you turn slightly. Yes, because I can turn a bit more now, can't I? So? You might just shave past the island and get a shot on me. Okay. So. That Whoa. is shaving past. I ain't gonna reset anymore for a bit Still out. Interestingly, I'm in your arc. But you're not in mine. Oh no, hang on. No, 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 no. Not in the slightest. Actually, I've got a partial on you. Yeah, I've got a partial on you as well. Though. So it's from there to there. And you're from there to there. Yeah. So you're not... You have nothing, but I actually have a little bit of your hull. Mm -hmm. But then it's a partial is minus two. Is the range within ten? That. The range of that is still Out just two. over. Yeah, just over. So if I was to do forest bears, it's minus two, minus two, and minus two. So there's a very good chance that I would miss. Yes. Because that would be a minus one to hit. So I'm not going to do forest bears. Also, do you have to declare forest bear as you when you finish your turn, or do you do it when the ship comes Oops. into your uh, debris? Uh, the next ship is mine, isn't it? My little guy. Let's just double check for no, Irish Bears, because you could declare it, it if you need to declare it. I do your... No, no, no. if the ship is not yet activated, no. Oh. Well, that's a bit rubbish. What's that? It's if you haven't activated yet. 
Well, so if does. your opponent activates a ship and you haven't activated your ship, you may fire a Shabazz. Huh. But surely, if this broadside fired, the other one hasn't, surely they'd be waiting, wouldn't they, to, oh, so, uh, for someone to come into range? Well, I could have fired a Shabazz anyway in the box, but... <laughs> um, Hmm. So next is your next one, isn't it? Yeah. So I've got to go to there. This is the biggest bag of wank for me I've ever had. <laughs> Not too keen on then. It's the only part of the game which I find fiddly. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's just, this is going to ram my ship in it. I'm hoping the wind might change because what I'm going to do now is crash and fire. <laughs> Do that. But now I'm sailing into the wind. I just realised I've not actually. I don't actually drop down sails until my next movement. Yeah, at the start of your thing, your sails. Yeah. And then it takes your damage. But we'll double check all that. Yeah. So, I've now turned into the wind yeah. in an attempt to broadside your guy. Oh, look at you. Now, the range is definitely now within 10. Woohoo! First time ever in this game we've had a range within 10. Yep. Well, I'm going to shoot you, and you're going to feel this, my friend. Am I? Am it I? isn't raking, because to rake you have to be right in front. Mm -hmm. So. We are going to fire the red dice. No, it's the big heavy. We're going to fire the blue dice. The blue dice! Right, you are. You are not over 10 inches. Nope. But you're not within three. No crew. You're not anchored. You're not full. You haven't served more than 10. You're not tiny, small, or large or extra large. I'm not aiming high. Oh, shall I aim high? No, because I haven't got chain shot. Uh, visibility is clear, yeah. and you're not firing Shabazz, so actually there are no mod mo no negative modifiers to this roll. Oh, so on a five. I have a 50-50 chance in hitting. Yeah. So, on two dice. shall I bother? Just, yeah. just call it two misses. <laughs> you get all your dice, right? yeah. Um, yeah high. Now, aiming high. I think I might aim high. Because if I aim high... I mean, that'd be a modifier. For saying that, then, then I, get the And I get a... Uh, yeah. We've not aimed high yet, have we? No. So... Where are the zeros for aiming high? Ah, there is, actually... Mm, no other rules other than when you get a critical. Mm -hmm. So rather than taking a modifier, I'll just go for the five to hit. Yeah. A critical! 
Of course it is! So we've got a hit and a critical. I was, op I was open to take your sails out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Right, so we've got one damage for light cannon. No, heavy cannon, shit. So four damage. Four damage? Two, two damage per... I keep thinking they've got light cannon because they're small ships. Yeah. So it's two damage per, per hit. Yep. And a roll on the critical table. Okay. So... So I've taken four damage so far. Four damage. A six. Fire. Eee. Go on then. What does fire do? This is what destroyed my ship last time. Literally the turn afterwards, my ship blew up. Oh, when you're playing against... Uh... <laughs> when I played against Simon, and it was like, unless you roll a one, you're fine. Otherwise it hits your magazine and explodes, and I rolled a one, and the ship just went... <laughs> Only, I'd only lost four hit points. This same thing happened. Right, so? so, the shot has sparked fire on board. Place a piece of fiery cotton wool on the damaged ship to represent it's now ablaze. C. Ships on fire on page 26 for the effects of this critical damage. Thankfully, we've got these little markers here. Uh, yeah, we're not going to no. use heated shot because... So we use that for the... Uh... If it's your first turn, you're miles away, maybe you could load a certain shot. Or if you've grappled, you can yeah. maybe do it, but... Yeah, so we'll stick that there to say it's got a fire on it then. So you're on fire. Um, if it had been on the high table, one of the masts has been critically hit, badly reducing the effects of the sails. Without them, you are drifting helplessly. Take additional damage equal to 25% of your original ship points rounding up. The first mast hit reduces your current maximum level of sail of small ships to light. The second reduces it to anchored. Medium or larger, every mast reduces it level of sail by one. Right, okay. So it takes quite a lot to break your sail, but then of course it's very hard to hit, to hit your mast. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you're on fire. I'll read the effect of the fire for you. Thank you. <laughs> Be nice. So that everyone knows how you, uh, how you know on fire you Damaged. are. <laughs> so ships on fire. Ships can catch fire due to critical damage or by sailing within one inch of another ship that is on fire. Place a piece of fiery cotton wool yeah, on the ship as soon as it catches fire. Then the ship takes D three damage if tiny, D six if medium, and D ten. If larger, extra so this large. This is D6. So you take D6 damage. That's three. three. So you take three more damage points. So that puts me down to 29. This will continue until the fire is extinguished or the ship becomes a burning wreck. At the start of every subsequent activation, the crew of the ship can attempt to extinguish the flames by taking a skill test. If successful, the ship is no longer on fire. If you fail, an extra D3, D6 or D10 will be taken depending on your vessel's size. Additionally, if the unmodified result of the skill test is a 1, the fire has reached your ammunition magazine and your ship explodes. Remove it from play. Any ship within 4 inches takes D10 damage. You may choose to gain a plus 2 skill modifier uh, when taking this test. If you chose this modifier, the ship cannot make any change to sails if you've got any left after the freaking fire. That's it, ain't it? Any, any change to your sails, any change in direction, and you may not shoot the activation. However, as the crew are taking extra precautions, you won't explode on a one. Nice. So it is, you may sail in a straight line, as far as your sails are currently set, but you get a plus two modifier to your skill, which is would mean you put the fire out on a three up, and if you're on the one, you don't explode. Otherwise, it's a skill check, five up, and you put the fire out. So. And I'll are. do that at the end of the turn, see if I put it out, yeah? Uh, it is at the start of your act activation. All right, so same thing really, isn't it? Right, okay, so next then. Well, it isn't, it isn't. It's like, well, yeah. you know, the start of the activation isn't the end of your activation. No. Plus, if you get go first, then. I could. <laughs> Set your fire again. <laughs> what would two fires? <laughs> Can you get them up? Well, I assume you could get them Multiple up. fire! So, my last guy to go then. Because That was extremely lucky. Oh, it was that, yeah. 
Sorry? I am rather proud of my uh, little guy. Brig. Sorry? Yeah. Little guys don't always finish last. Five. And I'm not gonna. He is gonna take D3 damage though with his snow sailing into the wind. <laughs> so five there. Do enough of a turn, so I'm not going to do Impact. another shotgun. Yeah. What about the uh, turn turn? I just thought you might just go and then fight on that guy. <laughs> so I'm gonna be at least that way. So. Do that, I can get. Oh, yeah, you'll clear it as well. Hang on, no, no, I can't. Just in case of what, what, what can shoot at. Mm. Your own shit? Put him out of his misery? So that's it, because that's the 10 minutes as well. I need, no, sorry, I need to be at that angle, which will put me into the island. So. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it, no. Especially actually now we've seen kind of how lucky a little ship can get. Yeah, so I'll keep him out of that then. You might just, you know, that might blow up, but you might still win it because just setting everything on fire. Mm. So, And therein finishes... In the second turn. Second turn. Yeah. Okay, that was interesting. Because in all fairness, right, and this is the interesting thing about this game, in all our games we've played so far, we've only ever fired heavy cannon. Yes. These ships, these mm -hmm. rigs, are a lot cheaper than the big big ones by far. Mm -hmm. It's like it's two of these, basically, to one of these. Mm. So you're actually getting four cannons rather than two cannons. So, yes, okay, the better in close, but you're going to get to be very... I mean, we sail towards each other. If you're using your tactics you would probably keep within long range. Would make sense, wouldn't it? And uh, just keep firing off round after round. So, <laughs> your guy. Let's find out what happens All when right. you uh, sail into the wind. We're doing the uh, wind direction first, aren't we? Ah, you may not actually lose D3 hull points for the wind being at you. Yes. You're still crashing to the island. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> that But you won't lose any, any health because of the wind. Got oh, oh yes. that's going to change. The wind is changing. The wind has changed. Up oh, your bum. Uh, the wind has changed. Move the arrow clockwise. So the arrow is clockwise. So the wind is now coming from that corner. That does mean I think I might have two ships in full sail. Yeah. Well, that's buggered. <laughs> He's buggered. But he isn't. No. He actually was going to take the, the, the damage for the wind, but actually he's not going to anymore. He's not going to, and he's not going to. No, literally, he's just managed to dodge out, out of that due to the angle. I was saying that he wouldn't have took the wind anyway, because it would have been coming from there. Yeah. So only if you were, like, there. So, so yeah, um, he is sailing towards the corner. He isn't. The wind's coming, you know, like across here. Yeah. So actually, if the wind's coming across here, maybe he is sailing into the wind. Because the wind comes across like that, doesn't it? Yeah, so it's... So that's the hardest one to do, is when it's coming from a corner. Because it's like... Are you facing where the wind is coming from? I would hazard to say you're not because because it's coming across like that. You see, hmm. so I'm a bit surprised how many times this thing has reconnected to the chat room. Like that. So I don't think the connection is too good at the moment. It comes across the table like that. Yeah. So, well, that in itself means that that's in the front arc, isn't it? It comes down like that, yeah. So, that's 
So, so yes. it probably is in the front arc when it's. You've got two ships in the front arc. I think arc, on yeah. the corner it's harder. A lot harder. Hmm. That's actually a really bad wind change. For you, it is, yeah. For me, perfect. Well, not for him. Why not? Because <laughs> he can't change his sails at the minute. I oh, know, he can't, can he, yeah? Because he's on fire. Sorry? Well, actually, no, you can. I think you can, you just don't take the skill test but bonus. So you might, you know, not put your fire out, but you might sail three things and go, wee! But now I can drop his sail down to one. You and go to light. Can. Which should probably reduce your impact, I reckon, when, when you hit the... I uh, hope <laughs> it does. Because you don't want to be hitting that at full speed. <laughs> um, is it under collision? Evading, colliding... Da, 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 da. No, that's purposely going... Oh no, terrain. Yeah, terrain. Colliding with terrain. Target size, tiny. No, it's small. Small is 16. What does that mean? If both evading attempts fail, like so, there's always a chance of evading a collision. Each ship ex executes an evading manoeuvre where both ships will experience a near miss. Both vessels involved in a potential collision must make a skill test with a plus one. It represents the determination of the crew to evade the collision. If either ship is two or more sizes smaller than other, uh, plus two is used for the smaller ship. If either test succeeds, the active player must move their ship past the oh, area. Yeah. You cannot evade a colliding with a terrain piece. Yeah, okay. So After all that it says at the end of it, you can't collide with a terrain piece. You can't evade terrain. Yeah. So <laughs> Evade the island! <laughs> so, uh, the size the and speed of the two ships determines the amount of damage you take. The ship, which is currently activated, is regarded as the attacker. The target of the attack, uh, the other target is the, other, is the target. You're struggling there, aren't you? On the collision chart below, find the attacker's size on the left column and then read across to the target size to find the damage the vessel takes. Now, once I collide, do I turn or anything like that? Because <laughs> I've got to reverse or something, haven't I? To determine the damage, the activated... So, uh, the, uh, the unactivated ship of the attacker and activated. If the active ship travelled more than 8 inches, add 3 to all damage. If the collision is with terrain, Treat it in exactly the same way as an unactivated ship. Terrain can never take damage. All damage is applied to both ships simultaneously. Right. So, after the collision, confusion and panic ensues on the ship, and the crew slowly attempt to recover from the encounter. To represent this, apply all the effects of quarter deck hit critical damage. In addition, the ship cannot shoot or initiate grapples. Finally, complete the activated ship's movement as reasonably as possible, taking into consideration the change in direction due to the collision. Yeah, you're screwed. So... You... What the... Um... Yeah, well, basically you'll need that. And you'll impact the island, mm -hmm. and you'll take 16... No, just say a medium. I'm a small. I'm a small. You, you will take 16 points of damage. Oh! For hitting the rocks. Yeah, so. Which is, I suppose, is fair. <laughs> so, <woo. laughs> it's more damage than I could ever hope to do to your ship. So that's taken 16 straight away then. <laughs> so, mental note for next time. Don't do it. This is a bad <laughs> idea. <laughs> at least you know what to avoid at all costs. Repairs. You can repair your ship, of course, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> making repairs means all. <laughs> you can't shoot that term, but you can try and repair your ship. So, That's probably a good idea. So, where is escaping from being? Didn't you just say my crew has got a critical thing? Yes, I've just passed it over. Yeah. Quarter deck hit. Yeah. Uh, 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 oh, we've got a horror by numbers that's uh, just popped up saying uh, kill them all. <laughs> and oh, I'm liking the graphics over. 
So uh, thank you very much for that horror. At the moment I've just managed to um, almost destroy my own brick by uh, running it aground. Interestingly, <coughs> yep. medium, large and extra large ships cannot approach closer than three inches to a shoreline or shoal. If they do, by design or misfortune, they must make a skill test. If failed, a collision occurs. If the ship and the ship is now grounded, if it's passed, the ship will turn as little as possible to be at least three inches away from the, ob the obstacle at the end of its move. So it might be a way to do it like an about turn with a large ship, just head straight towards the land and then go. <laughs> yeah, can't do a um, skid in a sense. Um, so yeah, you are, you will be grounded. Yep. Where's grounded? You can't move the remainder of the game. That's it then. You remain where you enter the treacherous terrain, but can still shoot. So activate them as normal. But you can't shoot because you yeah. it said you couldn't shoot because of the quarter deck damage and whatever it was. Small islands. Mm. Yeah, there was something about... So we're quite happy about that, There was something about putting... Right, gun batteries on the sea, yeah? Right. Now, with this, uh, you've got the quarter deck here. Yeah. You said the like critical there. Yes, because that's the only bit we need to cover, then we can carry on with The quarter the deck is the ship's nerve centre where the command and control orders are taken place on the vessel and morale is maintained. Place quarter deck hit token next to the ship and remove it at the end of the activate at the next activation. Mm -hmm. No change of direction or level of sail may be made until without passing a skill test. If failed, the ship continues to move straight at its current level of sail and all of its shooting suffers a minus one to hit penalty. So at the moment I'm suffering a minus one, but at the at the start of my next turn I can remove that hit. With a skill test. Yeah. Otherwise it gets took off at the end of the turn. Right, okay. Also I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you were uh, full stop. Yeah. So from light to stop was is no damage, is it? No, because it still counts as a collision. So you just do the collision. So damage. if I can get two hits on your boat, I'll sort of, I sink him. Yeah. Thankfully, I'm not taking any I mean, more damage unless you shoot me. He's <laughs> always sinking. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is my next ship to activate. Yep. And I'm going to try a double broadside if I can. So, uh, your ship that's on fire. Um, take into account the direction of the wind that's coming in and the effect it has on your ship. Oh yeah, I've got to go down sail, and I? I can only do light sail. Yep. Oh, no, 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 uh, uh, uh. That isn't so you've gone down one. So I've gone down one, just let me double check. Uh, uh, sorry, Matt. Actually... We've got Horror by Numbers that just said Lily and Nat enjoyed their RPG game today. Oh, good. And he says thank you. I'm so glad. They actually seemed like they were. Hmm. But you, you never show with people sometimes. What were they doing their D&D, were they? Well, yeah, they were doing D&D &D with lads. Oh. And, uh, yeah, they actually seemed to enjoy it. So at some point I need to start damaging your shoes. Because <clears throat> mm. at the moment I've lost uh, five points. No, that's that's more than five. That's uh, seven points off the frigate and sixteen off uh, one of the brigs. Oh bless. Uh, horrors per. Yep, Lily talk, talks my ear off about it. Mm. Laugh out loud. Oh bless. See, that's when you know they've had a good day. Yeah, if they talk. 
loads. She also became a believer in the great Lord Smeg. Yeah. <laughs> well, a semi-believer. She's now an, an, an initiate into the cult. Mm. All because I managed to like do the best combat I've ever had. Mm. And they were all like, oh, he's, he's, he is, he's, he's, he's like, he's proper, but you know, he believed in swag and helped him. So what is it you're looking for at the moment then? Page 34, how I move. What, now that you're down to light sails? <laughs> no, I probably want to find out what tacking is. Yeah, but you, you, if you have light sails, you can only move once though, can't you? No, no, it says you become anchored or tack. <clears throat> become anchored or attempt to tack. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, because you're going up against the wind, aren't you? Hmm. So, if you are currently at a higher, right, as soon as the ship is activated, use a dying on below to determine a little Note the specific minimum, maximum level of sail it can have for that turn. If you are currently at a higher sail that is allowed, the ship immediately drops down to the level indicated and cannot further change the sail this activation. If forced to drop two levels from battle sails to anchored or full sails to light, take D3 points of damage and apply the effects of the critical damage sail hit. The same will apply if you're forced to drop three levels, but you take D6 points. If, when activated, you are facing into the wind and the ship was moving, you can either move forward your rate of knots and become anchored, or you can attempt to get out of the wind by tacking. To tack, make a skill test when activated. If passed, turn the ship before deciding the sail level. Turn the, the minimum amount needed to take you out of facing, uh, out, to take you just out of the wind. Even if the turn exceeds your ship's turn angle. Cool. It then continues with its activation as normal. If you fail, basically see previous. Yeah. So I've got a choice of skill test or D3 damage. D3 damage, D3 damage. <laughs> <laughs> skill, skill, skill test is now. So on a five up, attack. Which actually turns me all the way around there. And you, yes, because on skill check you're using um, your D6s, aren't you? Mm. No. Oh, he's got a three. This is when I get a six. D3 damage. That's three. That's a three. Is that so two, two damage? damage. And that is on your frigate. Yep. He moves a full move. Yep. No, mm -hmm. uh, horrors. But um, she told me all, all about Smeg and its benefits. <laughs> We've also got hushed. Pompano did not kill everything and annoy everyone. <laughs> no, it was me who did that. Really? <laughs> mm. I don't like you. Yeah. So. That's you done then, yeah? At light sails? Uh, no, I'm now anchored. There we go. Uh, you still, you still manage to move as well, yeah? You make one move and then you're anchored. Yeah. Uh, and you can do a turn. So. Problemo is... The problem is that that actually blocks line of sight to your ship. Uh, so what I'll do is I will make the turn that way, passes the red, and I'll basically just try and turn my ship out out so that I have the wind behind me. Yeah, because that's what you're doing now, can't you? So I'll do that, but I only make one move and then become anchored. Yeah, because that's still having the wind at you as well, isn't it? Uh, there's nothing else I can do. Could broadside my own ship, I suppose. Um, and that's it. So this guy. Yep. He actually has the wind correct. It's at, it's at his side. So, I believe. Although, you... He is at that bay. Because you go by the wake, not, not the... Uh, angle yeah, no, he is. So it's at his side, isn't it? Yeah. So we can... Ramming speed and set myself on fire. That'll be fun. 
<laughs> to which, if you stay in that battle, <laughs> you go, you're going at five anyway. It's absolutely ridiculous. I would get within three inches of you. So I'm going to have to drop sail to light sail. But I'm still going to get within three inches. Yeah. What the, what the hell? What the Bring hell? <laughs> I'm going to board your burning ship. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, it's gone to that stage, has it? So, uh, I've got to go full sail. Uh. Where's battle sails? Um, did you say a ship that hasn't activated can uh, fire, fire ship bows? Uh, yes. Fire as she blows! Yeah. So I can do that. That looks like a sight. Oh yeah, oh no, it does, doesn't it? Oh. Okay, so when do I catch fire? <laughs> Jesus, what an absolute carve up. <laughs> well, we did say we would cover all aspects, <laughs> and I think we're doing quite a good job. We're doing an amazing job. We're like taking most things except for shot into consideration. <laughs> well, the different types. <laughs> I don't think we really need it this way, do we? What page was fire on? 34, won't it? I do not know. Let's fire she burst. Ship's on fire. Oh, within one inch. Well, that's fine, I'm not within one inch. Within <laughs> one inch of that. So I. <laughs> <laughs> My god, I'm lucky. <laughs> My hole isn't within one inch. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to make my turn. <laughs> Go on. That was absolutely ridiculously lucky. Now I will be within one inch. <laughs> I'm going to have to go that way, aren't I? Turn there. <laughs> you stayed at battle cells as well. Yeah. That was a bit ballsy, weren't I? I'm, I'm going to fire a Shibers as I go past you. Yeah. And, uh, Isn't that just normal firing? No, firing no. As, as she it's, bears, so it? firing as she bears is as I go past you, I fire off. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, with yeah. a minus two. Hmm. So you can do it in your turn if you want, or you can do it in your opponent's turn. So yeah. I'm going to go. Doopy doopy doop, bang 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 bang. I can do it to you now because you. And then you can do it as I get past here. So I finish my go there. Yeah. I'll do mine. You do yours. Yeah. And then see who's alive at the end of it. Okay. Thankfully, right. I was at point blank range to you when I went fire with Yeah. Fire Shibers! I could have been using the quick reference sheet, couldn't I? That'd be a lot easier. Okay. So the range is within three inches, plus awesome. two to hit. Uh, speed is fine. Target is normal. You're not obscured. Nope. I'm not aiming high. Nope. I am a fire Shibers. So it's minus two plus two. So, fives. So, fives. Yeah, with uh, blue dice. And it's raking fire as well. Not that it matters. Because you both miss. Because oh. the raking fire is uh, even better. Let's see. I, I would have. Let's see what raking fire does. Not that it matters because I missed. Don't know how I missed. You're freaking on fire. It's like, I can't even. It's like, look, he's there. How did he miss that? I was on fire. The aim for the flames. So raking fire is when you pass directly across the less protected four or aft, crossing the T, it's called. Mm -hmm. da -da -da -da. When you fire towards a target that is perpendicular, double the damage uh, for a stern or add one for each for a bow. If you are also shooting point blank, Treble the damage. Oof. Particularly effective when using fire as she bears. Unless you roll that result. Which means complete and utter total miss. Now, if I had done it, I'd have got about 12 damage on you. If, I rake, if you rake it. If I raked you at that range... It would be triple the normal damage. I'm not actually going to fire as she bears at you because I can rake past you, can't I? 
You can. Yeah, so I won't uh, fire your bears at you. So the bow would have been doubled. So if I'd have got two hits, yeah. it would have been four damage. On each dice. Uh, on each dice, so it'd be mm -hmm. eight damage to you. Ooh. And potentially it could have had another crit as well. But alas, my gunners were Rubbish. absolutely shite. Mm. Right, so it's up to this guy. Yep. Which is easy in the wind. I think we'll attempt to attack. He attacks. Wow. So he goes like that. Just so I'm not in the wind. So I'm going to go through. I'm going to go through that hole because the wind's coming from there. So I'm not actually into it if I'm there. Yeah. So I'm going to go through. I'm going to go past and fire your bears. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I do it when attacking? Can I shoot when attacking? Uh, oh, that's being an interesting one, can't you? I'll just check. I can't Quick. remember what page it was. They could do with like a cheat sheet on tacking. They haven't got tacking, that's a shame. Index tacking? Yes. It's not alphabetical. Really? No. <sighs> Oh yeah, we haven't even looked at any of the national rules. <laughs> Completely forgot national rules. Tacking is not covered in the index. Great. Index is a bag of wank. But we always are in these books from Warlord. They're not very good at indexes. Oh, really? Mm. I've always found it's just like, yeah, this is movement. It's like, well, that's just a contents page, mate. It's a contents page, not a uh, index. I thought an index was like a, you know, what is in this book and loads of page reference numbers. Yeah. Um, weather, Rex, land, sandbank, fog, rain, initial broadside, wasn't concerned, da -da -da -da, movement under rules, realistic wind, fire bears. Fire ships entanglement. Was tacking just in kind of movement then? Must have been. Did I just completely not just forget that it was there? Yeah. <laughs> so tacking again. So skill test if passed. Turn the ship before deciding your sail. Turn the minimum amount needed to, to take you out of the wind, which was that way, because going this way was a lot further. Even if it exceeds your turn angle, I think it was anyway. Was it? Which way was it? I was facing that way, wasn't I? You were facing that yeah, way. I was facing that way, so it's actually longer to go that way than it is to go that way. Because I was facing like that, wasn't I? Yeah, so you needed like minimum... 50 -50, Yeah, but... you needed the minimum movement take yeah. out of that, so yeah. So I can carry on with my normal activation, apparently. Okay. So I'm going to be an absolute cool dude here. Fire with your bears as I go past this ship. Turn and fire with your bears on that ship. You can fire twice. You can fire uh, with... Oh no you, can, no, you can fire once per turn, can't you? If you fire once per turn, then how would you broadside somebody? Because you broadside. Or is it you can fire your set of guns once? Okay. Moral, could you check that? I think it's just one firing phase, but... Because I would have thought it wouldn't matter as long as you didn't fire your guns more than once on each side. Ships carry a bit of a dirt, a bit of a Ships can shoot from four gun positions, left, right, broadsides, directly to each side. Ships carry blah 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 blah. So, 
Each gun position chooses a target within its cycle of fire. In experience from regular crews must choose the closest target. Veterans can choose a further way to target from a skill test. Measure the range, determine the hit number. So it's probably covered in the start bit with. At the end of each move, make a turn. At the end of each move, may fire some or all weapons. At the end of the final move, make a boarding action. So some or all weapons. That means you can choose as much as you want to, then, can't you? Sure, we read somewhere you can only do it once per turn. So go to the. It does cover there. Try the shooting page then. Because it'll probably be a bit more in depth there. But that was page 14 that I was reading. Ships could carry in, uh, unless it's allocate. At the end of each move, or at any time if anchored, yeah. you may choose to shoot some or all of your ship's weapons. You may shoot with as many of the four positions as you wish, however, each gun position may only ever shoot once per turn. This means the activated vessel can potentially target more than one enemy ship, a different one for each four guns. There you go, yeah. So, yeah, each gun position can fire once per turn, and you fire at the end after you've done your turn. Yep. After you've done your twisting. So, that's fine. So, I can do fire your bears, come round, fire your bears, fire yep. or I can just go burp, burp. That and then turn, but yeah, I'm gonna fire your bears down there. Yeah, keep going straight, I think, and try and fire your bears on, on your rear. Yep, or even just normal shot might might do it actually. So we'll do the fire your bears first. So that is still in the battle, so it's five. Now, you're not taking any damage if you go across the wake, are you? No, I thought you would. I thought it would actually affect your um. Yeah, but thanks for coming down. So, it's fives. Yep. Wow. I think your smoke must be. Um, it's doing its job, isn't it? It's doing its job. this, you know. <laughs> um, then, actually, I don't need to fire your bears because I have got a perfect shot on you. Turn there. Okay. Like that. So it's not a raking, but it is point blank, but you are small. So it'd probably be a four to hit. Oh! Now it was this time that you went into that island, wasn't it? Your guy? Yeah, it was this, it was this time. It was this, this time, time, yeah. yeah. So, um, second gun position fire in, no modifier, point blank, plus two. Anchored full sails, sailed more than ten, you're tiny, minus two for tiny, no, you're not no, too small. small. So minus one. Uh, not obscure, bears, you're getting a minus not one. aiming, I'm not firing the bears, so I'm just doing a normal fire. Okay. So, we are at minus one, so fours. God's sake! Oh, what a shame! I cannot roll low. What cannot a roll shame. low. <laughs> it's like I had a really good time with that ship, and then after that, the gunners are like too happy. Yeah. So it is. That's all my guys done. Yep. So now it's my frigate. Your frigate. Now. What is it doing? Starting of the turn, I need to see about the fire, don't I? Yes. So we'll go to the fire and see what happens. Are you going to keep yourself as they are, or are you going to try and do stuff this turn? Try and do stuff and you roll one for your fire, you blow up. Right. If you don't do the skill check with the plus two, you can fire. Which could mean you could, you'd rake down my bow as you went by me. So it could be a risk worth taking. Oh, so it's either either skill check, put out the fire, or keep going. Yeah. So I can't put Well no, you can skill check with a modifier, a positive modifier to put out the fire on a three up. Yeah. And you put the fire out possibly. 
and you, if you roll a one you don't blow up but when you cannot turn change sails or fire or don't take the modifier put the fire out on a five up but then you can turn change sails and do a shooting action which actually means you could do well as you go as you could f you fire as your bears on it, that one turn to about there declare fire as your bears on that guy and then just run aground <laughs> well the trick is I'm better put, off and shoot. put the fire out by <laughs> I'm better shooting you than putting out the fire at the moment yeah I mean, you might even blow my ships up if you, if you explode. That yeah. could be Sorry. Where was the fire? Where was the fire? Fire, fire, fire. Was it in extra rules? Oh, possibly. This is... Awkward! Oh, that's disgusting. This is what the game's doing to me, man. It's forcing me to do these things. It's on that critical damage, right? Let's take a look. Mm. Right, so. So at the start of activation, yep. the crew attempts to extinguish the flames by taking a skill test. So, as I said, you can choose to take a plus two modifier cannot make a change in level of sail, change in direction, or shoot. Yeah. But you do get a plus two, and you don't explode in a one. Or, risk it for a biscuit, and you can do all of those things. And it's normal skill check. Normal five up skill check. Mm -hmm. Failure, you take d6 damage. Fail it and taking d6. Yeah. So it's take d6 damage, but you can shoot this turn, and turn and change sails. On three up you put the fire out, but you can't do anything, other than just move in a straight line. Go on then, guns and glory. So on a five up. Five up goes out on a one you blow up. Yep. So. Fire is the out. Fire is out. And I get to do everything. I'm so hoping you get a one. Oh no, that'd be hilarious, that wouldn't it? So. Wow. My guys rejoiced a bit too early. So. Five minutes, because we know we're going past the island and not having to worry about the lake. So. Yeah. One, two, three. Even though you've moved the island out of the way. Well, yeah, I've moved the island. Pre-planned it, so. Yeah. It's alright, it's got moved or something. So. That's the five. Yep. So now. Conducting a fire she bears. Now, if I fire as she bears, I get to do the double damage. But I'm taking a minus as fire she bears, I believe. Minus three, because I'm small and fire she bears, but you get a plus two for being point blank range. So I'm only ta so taking that minus hit, one, aren't I? on fours. Yeah. So I'll do that then, because fours ain't too bad. Yeah. Yeah. And this would do double damage as well. Actually, it does more because it's a bow rake. Oh. Okay. So here we go. On fours, we've got a one. So that's a critical as well. So you've got a critical hit. So. So, normal damage. normal damage is two. Yeah. I'll just bring up the uh, cross in the T just to double check for you. So, blip, blip, blip. double the damage for stern. So, you're taking four damage at least. If you're quite blank, you triple the damage. So, you're taking six damage then? Six per hit. So, yeah. So I've took six damage yeah. on the triangle flag. Fish down to 14. Puts me down to 14. Yeah, now as it's a critical, it's the effect, isn't it? Yeah. So roll a d6. Hmm. 
So it puts the brick one onto 14, so D6 in here. Mm -hmm. Three. The rudder steering hit. The rudder hit. Uh, take it, that's no extra damage then, no? On number one. Either the helmsman has been hit or the rudder is jammed. Place rudder hit token on your ship. On the next activation, roll a d3. On a one, the ship will change its direction at full extent of its turn arc to the left. On a two, cannot make any changes in direction. And on a three, it turns to the right. Remove the token at the end of the next activation as the crew take back control or unjam the rudder. So? I um, really hope I turn left. So this is still at battle stage. Turn right? I. Hmm? Yeah. So, fire actually bears as well on that side. Uh, of course, yes. Yeah. So that is over. So I'm guessing. Ten. That's over. You, is that your turn? Is that your. That's turn? That, yeah, that, that's my first turn. Now I've got yeah, to do the rest. Yeah, you've got to fire, you should... You could, could you not fire now? At me? Yes, I could fire now, yeah, because I've just done my turn, haven't I? Yeah. So I don't have to worry about fire, she bears. I'm guessing not. Because, yeah. Because you said you turn, then you fire, don't you? So, minus two. Yeah, minus two. Just because it's over ten inches. over ten inches. Yeah. Sorry. So that is on threes then. Yep. Yeah, minus two, so three. Yeah. Not only that, but I've got other. You've got the other cannons in there, don't yes, you? Yes, I've got the other cannons as well. To which I could have fired actually bears at the other cannons as well, couldn't I? I dropped all of the dice though. Yeah. It's not, it's uh yeah, just just roll one more dice, it doesn't matter what colour it is. So do one more dice of damage. They're one damage each, so it should be three damage if it hits. Yeah, so with my other side side ones, it's just 1d10, and yeah. it was, what was it, fours? Fours to hit. Yeah, because that was the um, bit, weren't it? Get another one. Small. Get another one, that'd be hilarious. No, no, it'd be small. Small. Five she bears, point blank, and, and small. Yeah. So it was minus one. So you oh, can't fours. Okay. So that's one, which is. So that's three. another two, another three damage. Another three damage, yeah. So I'm down to 11. So that's what, then it's the other side as well, isn't it? So now the other side is on this one. No, because cause the uh, frigate, if you look on your stack cards, it's got yeah. three set of guns. Well, they've already. Main ones? The coronards are 10 inches, though, aren't they? The uh, coronards are 8 inches. Oh, right, yeah. Ugh. So, yeah. <laughs> you no, lose the three. other one. Yeah. <laughs> See, <laughs> so I'm firing with all three, aren't I? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the ne next one, same again then. Not yeah. like much. <laughs> same again, yeah? Yeah. Oh my god. What? Go on, what's that then? No. Yeah, come on. No, roll top dice, roll dice. There's di damage difference, isn't there? Roll dice. So zero, it missed. Three damage if it hits. Triple it would have been nine damage. So you've just taken... So what? what, Woo! what? I'm down to 11. But you would have put me down to two if you'd have hit. God, this so, is fun. Then, it's this one. Firing normal. Yeah. So you are over 10 inches, so I can only fire you with the one gun cannon. Uh, you can fire with the big cannon and the small cannon, but not the coronards. What, what's the range of the small cannon? Uh, 14. 14, yeah, okay. So it's three, you've got two blue and a red. Two blue and red, yeah. And you are hitting on the red, two, so threes. On threes? So we got shit. <laughs> a hit and a critical. So that's four damage. Four damage. Four damage on so your mount. So down to thirty. Yeah. And the critical damage. This guy has gone from being on fire to being on fire. Yeah. So your critical now is is. Oh yeah, I need to roll for it, don't I? You do. <laughs> you do. Don't get a six. You get one. Quarter deck. Ooh. <sighs> so, uh, he's got the rest of these five, ain't he? 
a skill test to be able to change direction or sail. Otherwise, I go in a straight line and I suffer a minus one to hit. That's insane, mate. No, because I need you off there. So I'm turning you around there. <laughs> so that's in done. You've gone from being on the back foot in one shooting phase to being on the forefront. Yeah, because I've got my, my frigate's on 29, yours on 30. My first brick is still on full health, yours is on 11. Your second brick is on 20, but mine was on 4. I was really hoping you'd just blow up. <laughs> <laughs> so, last activation as well then. This little guy, isn't it? Because we know... Mm. He's going straight past the five. And then, oh my god, he's right in front of me. Mm. He's going to turn. Oh, he's not right in front, thank god. But he can fire as she bears. Yeah. Which will put him in Because you're better off because you do double damage. Because... That. So five she bears on the way by, it's a minus... Or well, saying that though, would that put me in your front arc, that, wouldn't it? That. it... it would give you a partial in my front arc. Mm. So I'm better off with the fire as she bears going. Yeah, because a partial is minus two yeah. to hit, I think. Um, a... Partial is minus two, fire she bears is minus two, she may as well just take a fire she bears. Yeah, because at least that one I'm doing double damage then, aren't I? Uh, Sorry? Not over ten, not point blank though, I don't think, am I? As you went by. No, you're not point blank. Uh, first composition, not anchored, not at full sails, not turning shears. I'm small, so minus one. And right, so you hit on twos. Hit on twos, okay. Double one, here we come. Oh, double, double six. six. Mistakes. So you missed. So God, that's a lucky crew now. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> this cannonballs go straight over my I can't believe I missed with all those shots. Yeah, I believe. Unbelievable. That. He needs to do the. Um, Where's my. Oh, the bullet hits on there. Test now, doesn't he? My guy there. Uh, for what? Quartermaster. Oh, is that his next, oh, his next, next, sorry. next activation? Next activation. So he still can't do anything at the moment. Because oh. he got it in his turn. Yeah. So at the start of the next activation, you take a skill test, fail it, you can't do anything, then you remove it at the end of your turn. Right. Okay, so. Well, he can, you can shoot, but there's nothing for you to shoot at, so. Yeah. <laughs> so now we roll for weather. Weather? Because it's the end of that turn. You mean the compass? Well, same thing. Yeah. It's wind. Wind's weather! Right, okay. Five. Five and a one. So six stays like that. So that puts us on turn four now. Do we have a limit up to turns we, we play up to? Don't think so. Do you want to check? Just see if there is a turn in it. I doubt there is. I'm guessing they're just presumably doing a scenario. What does a scenario say? Well, each one's got different things. So I'll find the one that suits what, what we're playing. Chance encounter? 
We've got some islands and sandbanks, two fleets, one fifth and three brigs. That's close enough. Game ends after time, nine turns or as soon as half the ships in one fleet have been sunk yeah. or having struck their colours. Yeah. Well. Oh yeah, you've got to see if you strike your colours as well for being damaged. Oh yeah, that, he'll have to, won't he? Definitely, because he's on four. So when do you strike your colours? You strike your colours when you're down to um, your half, aren't you? So, uh, not half, on seven with these. So, I need to see if I strike my colours, don't I? Where was it, where was it covered? Oh, here we go. No, 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 no. As soon as ship's got a break value for whatever reason. Oh, every time you activate. Good luck. So now is a skill test. When? Now. But yeah, we, we all need a little bit of a loo break. Back, back in a few minutes, guys. So, for those that are still with us, we're just getting a quick uh, cuppa to keep, keep ourselves going. As uh, we do need our little bits to keep us going in the wee hours of the morning. Come on, night. Well, they say that, it's only 11 o'clock at night. So, yes. So, we're on start of turn four. Just to keep everyone updated. And as you can see on the screen, it's uh, a bit evenly matched at the moment due to uh, what's left pointing-wise, well, health-wise on the boats. Um, I am needing to do a strike the colours check. Sorry, once I'm out of now, I'll uh, have a look. Ba, 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 ba. Sorry. Strike the colours. So I've dropped below break value. Every time it activates after that, make a skill test. Uh, so I can make the ship will slow down and become anchored as soon as possible to do nothing else for us again. So I shall roll. In a second when Matt gets back to see whether I lose my ship or not. Oh, 
it's been uh, cooked up today, so it's got to cook oh, right. up, up days in the fridge before it goes off. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, shit. If you want to, you, you can take, take it back and just... It's not going too well. Me. The weather's staying the same, isn't it? Yep. So your guy, skill check. Yep. So skill check five plus. I don't get no modifiers, do I? Nope. Nope. Five plus. Five plus, and your survive. You cover your yep. crew. Yeah, I've not struck struck my colours. Sorry. Oh yeah, five plus. You're not struck your colours. Yep. Two. Struck my colours. Your colours. So that giving up the ghost. I've given up on that one. So here is our lit take off wave marker. So it does mean, unfortunately, knocks him down to zero. So I think we rolled for the wind and it's staying the same, isn't mm -hmm. it? I'm gonna try and tack with that guy. Yeah, because you he's are facing the wind. Right in the wind, aren't you? Nope. So all I can do is one turn, mm -hmm. which is all right, because I can turn and fire. Thankfully, with the direction of the wind, my guys are still all right to stay at battle cells as well. So he's going to do a turn, and that should put him, yeah, more or less. I don't think he's within 10, though, is he? So he's going to have a go at you with everything he's got on that side. Can I have a go? <laughs> he's he's going to flip the shit out of that guy as well. Might as well, might I? Because you've still got some hole points. <laughs> no. That's it, no. He's, he's abandoned, so there's no hole points on it. Mm. Boo, hiss. Like two crit damages coming up. Okay. Mm. So, <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go for the hundredth time. Fire she does. No, just straight fire. Oh, because you're... Because um... I'm, I'm in the wind, so all I can do is when anchored is just turn. So it counts as anchor then, yeah? Mm-hmm. Uh, so... And if you're not dropping any speed, so you're not got to worry about that D damage? Nope. Right. So, minus two, and you're not at full sails. Nope. Battle. And that's it, yeah. No, no obscuring, aiming high. Right, so... Threes. Yep. One hit. Oh. God, I'm shit at rolling these dice. Oh. So that is two damage. So I've taken two damage off the frigate. Put two down to frigate. 27. So. That's what we're going to do then. It's going to be fun. Is Gonna come over to your side. Oh, are you? Yeah. Come over to that. Oh, I'll come over to your side then. Because yeah. my ships are going that way. Stop, <laughs> <laughs> Steve. It's just swapped for the minute because um, my ships are at this side and is at that side now. Uh, yeah. So we've got. It's a com completely different view from this side of the uh, no, table. Just... And this seat is cold. That's because I'm sitting on the other. <sighs> Uh, five. Oh. Back uh, our one viewer, is that Sean? Probably, probably not. So, five. Turn in. Let me move you on there. That might be. That's too far. What do you mean that's too far? What's too far? To fire at me. That's not. 
No. Are you uh, going to go for a... And then fire? Yeah. Okay. Because it means I'm going to get closer to you. Hopefully, close enough. Because let's go... Like that. Oh shit. Then, mangle on me dangle. Ah. That should put me. Let's hope we can tap next turn. Actually, yeah, you've faced, you've turned into the wind. As soon as you turn into the wind, you drop sail. Because you've gone. I was going that way across, so it still the counts. Kind of, yeah, so it still counts as hitting the side rather than the front. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is no, it? I can tell yeah. that. I'm still, yeah. still, I'm still good, good with it. Yeah, you're still good. Yeah. If I was slightly more that way, yeah. then yeah, yeah. then I'll be ta taking that. But no, thankfully, where I'm just going sideways, I'm good. Yeah. So. That puts that. That's pretty much. Yep. So everything's in range. Oh, everything. Oh, oh, oh. So, so we've got. We've got. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Um, fives. Yes. Because you've not got the penalties for anything. No. And I'm not doing anything like double damage. So on fives on all these then. Ooh. This could be interesting. Doesn't one of these do three damage? Yeah. One of them does, the black one. Yeah. The black one does three damage. The, the, the blue ones do two and the red one does one. Okay, there we go. So, here we go. Five. You've got. A one. Ooh, ooh, cock, cock dice. Cock dice. He Land, landed a half and half. Re roll it. No, I'm taking that. No, that, that was not cock. It, that was, was, it was like that. Yeah, that still landed fine though, It's not it? flat on the table. It's the same we want. Are we really being that pedantic? Hell though? yeah! Cock dice, oh. cock dice, mate. That was not cock, it was still land landed. Cock dice is when it's like that. No, it landed on scenery, it wasn't completely oh, flat. Alright, 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 yeah. okay, okay, yeah. ready? Ah, miss. Yeah, all missing then, yeah? <laughs> well, what, 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 what would your crit have been? Doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> Because someone wants to cheat! <laughs> My crit would have been... Oh, it's not a two yet. What's a two then? Ooh. Critical hit. No, oh, that's a two hit shot. There's a hull, a two would have been a gun deck hit. So this means that a gun position has been damaged by enemy fire. Or well, the gun crew has been temporarily disabled. Place a gun deck hit token on the ship next to the gun. <laughs> the gun pow, pow. Remove the token at the end of the ship's next activation. Oh. The ship will fire two fewer cannons of each type, including mortars, Jesus. from that gun position to a minimum or zero. So basically, you wouldn't be able to fire. Yeah, right. That's. Whew. Mind you, he's done for nothing all game. <laughs> so it wouldn't have been any different. So this guy has got his rudder jam. Yeah, so he's going straight. Uh, quarter deck. I need to take a skill check for that. Didn't I? Oh, it doesn't matter because I couldn't have done anything anyway, so it comes off. I couldn't have even done anything. No. Quote it would that. have been a minus one to it's hit. On that one. Yeah, so it would have been a minus one to hit. I'd have had to take a skill check to get rid of it, which I passed. Yeah, so it's gone anyway. I still though. didn't hit, yeah. so. Um, so now. That guy. He's got the. Rudder jam. Rudder jam. So I need to roll the dice. Is that the start of your turn, yeah? And it's. Brick, straight ahead. I might do fire as your bears! <laughs> nah, I don't need to, do I? So, I'm gonna go five. And you can't, you still can't change your rudder, can you? I believe, well, if I can, then I'll turn. If I can't, I'll fire as your bears. Just look it up for me. Right, where are we going for? I believe it said. It's in the damaged chart. For critical damage, rudder hit. Critical damage, rudder steering, right. So, uh, da, 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 da. 
place a rider here on your next ship. On the a next activation, roll a D3. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On a roll of one, the ship will change its direction to the full extent of its turn arc to the left at the end of each movement. Two, the ship cannot make any changes of the direction on this turn. Three, the ship will change its direction to the full extent of the turn to the right at the end of each movement. Remove the token at the end of the next activation. So, you're going straight into right. that island. So I can change my sail level. So I'll change my sail level to light. And I'll do a fire ship hers. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> you've moved before changing your sail, therefore you're staying, staying in battle. Yeah, I know, but... Right, I said to save time, do this and need it. <laughs> and I said we'll change, we'll change our minds if uh, it doesn't say. So I'm going to stick by what I said. I've changed the light sails. I'm still going to impact the island and probably sink next turn. Yeah. Because it'll take away. You're going to try for uh, I'll, I'll have a go on you. Might as well, mine you. Yeah. Uh, would it be close range that I went by you? Nope. So it's a minus one to hit. Because I'm small. Because you're small. So, force to hit. I need, before I sink myself on the island, I desperately need double one here. And I get a seven and a six. So, it misses on both. So, next turn, my ship is going to oh, we've got sink. Oh, it works, so maybe. That was the last coming. Not too sure what that was for, though. Mm, no idea. Oh, I think yeah, I think I put I'm going to lose this or something. Yeah, or oh, it could, could, could be in the spot. Down so down. we're going to. He's not going to strike his colours because he's at ten, isn't he? Eleven. But when he, when he hits the island, he's going to sink. You need to strike your colours at seven. Yeah. So he's just going to sink instead when he hits the island because it's sixteen damage, isn't it? Oh yeah, he's proper gone, mate. When he hits that. Okay, then it's this guy. Yep. Oh, God knows what you're going to do. Uh, Fuck you up, son. <laughs> I'm gonna. Let's go. Gonna go down to light sail. Let's go. Thankfully, you're not hitting the wind, so you're alright. You got a six. That's a hit. I'm anchored. Oh yeah. Plus one to hit when anchored. So what was the six on? Uh, the blue. Blue one. So yeah. you still take two damage. So take, yeah, take two damage. Mm -hmm. So after all that, I still hit you anyway. So we we'll go to blue health. Yeah. So it's twenty-eight. This me just coming through this, so I do apologise. So you went on 30, put you on down to 28. See, honesty. Yeah. Uh, right, so this oh, guy... Oh, this is looking a bit more closer now. This guy... I think you might have won this, you know, because... Having the wind change like that really screwed up. Well, fair enough. If I take some damage off your uh, second brig... Well, it's sinking. No, no. Oh, my brick, sec yeah, my brick, brick one. one is going to the iron. That, that's going to be dead. So we're going to have a dead ship each. If I take a little bit of health off of uh, your second brig, then or off your frigate, then it'll put me in the lead. I'll go to light sails. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you said you'd do that anyway, won't and you? I'll go five. Yeah, and I'll turn to the wind, which means I can then tack next turn. You turn into the wind. Yeah, well, as far as I can. Hmm. Like that. Oh, I'm not in the wind. Should have got it. Yeah, full sail. yeah, in the wind now. No, it's just coming like that, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I am. Yeah. So you, next turn. You, you, you could have still gone at uh, battle sails. Yeah, I could, couldn't I? Yeah. No, because then I would have took damage when I. <laughs> Went full anchor. Well, stop. Because turning to the wind, I would have took damage. No, you really now made. I don't take damage. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's him sorted. Sorry. Uh, now your little guy over there. I am a literally a, sit, a sitting duck. What about the man? So 
he's got to go his full five, hasn't he? So. Go for a turn because I need to see if I can get in. Actually, you know what? I'm probably better off doing that second movement and then turn. I know, I know because you block line of sight, yeah, because literally that will be there if I turn. Mm. No, if I turn, I'll be able to get you. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So? No, you won't. Why don't you? There we go. Because then you'll be going straight past me. If you turn now, you'll get me. Yeah. Well, turn, turn, turn a little, little bit now. Because what I can do then, puts me a little bit more out of the way of the island. So, example, if I do that... Mm, nah. Partial. No, the idea is, right, I'll go to back there. But then you've got the island. Yeah, because five. Bear in mind, you've got me back there. Oh, yeah, you might. Then I'll turn a little bit more, it'll be like that. Yeah. So pa it's partial, so minus two to hit. Oh, I might be my, that might be a partial. Yeah, yeah. Because you've not got my full hull. You've got to get the complete hull in. I thought it would be full the size of a ship, why not? Mm, do it then. Yeah. Because e e even from this angle, I won't be able to get your full hole. Because I won't be able to get the angle there, won't I? Because it's the width of your ship, isn't it? Broadside. Mm. If it's like that, mm. so example, my full, full broadside width is like that, I've not got your full arc in. It's one and a half of these. Yeah. So as long as I do that and I can get your full arc in, I'll be fine. Okay. So, so do what you think. Do that. Go five. See that? I don't even need But the that. back of your ship is going over the island. So it's partial. Because the island's blocked line of sight. Yeah. That with me in the back is not. It's still a partial. Yeah. So we'll go for either way, then I'll be a partial, then, won't it? Yeah. Who keeps entering the chat room and leaving? No, does it keep coming up? Well, welcome to chat room. Yeah, that's us. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. yeah that's all the times we, we dropped out. Oh, of the chat room, yeah. So I'll do that then. So, where that island is going across here. No! Is that an actual island? Is that like a sandbank? It counts as an island. It's a big rock formation. Yeah. Because they. No, no, these ones Sand, are sandbanks. Sandbanks aren't they? don't yeah. walk by the side. No, but that's, that, that, that's rocks, isn't it? That's yeah. an island, yeah. So, right. So, it's minus four. Yeah. So, two dice. Distance partial. That's over ten inches, easy that. It's twelve, so. Yeah. So, on one. Ones. Two. Double one coming up, knowing you. <gasps> Ooh. I wish I could roll those dice like that. I'd just be happy to get hits. <laughs> Damn it. I've done that wrong. What have you done? Look what I've just positioned myself against. A rock. Yeah. Right in front of you. Yeah. That'd be so funny if you go straight into the rock next turn. I can drop down to light sails. <coughs> You've got to fucking have to! <laughs> light sails, one move, turn. <laughs> Just try and manoeuvre yeah. around it. <laughs> Alt crew's like, don't, 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 don't do it! You see, you should have done what I did. Shot before, mm. and then gone in there and turned, and then you could have followed that other ship round. Isn't the uh, compass supposed to be moving around the board? No. Well, I mean, it can. Yeah. I mean, in all fairness, it could have just gone. To there. Yeah, because the sound like that has to... The wind is coming from that direction. Yeah, no, because it's how you determine the priority of which goes first, isn't it? No, it ain't. 
the wind direction is what determines it. So as long as you know where your wind direction is going, so we established the wind is coming from this corner of the table. Whether you put the compass there, whether you don't put the compass there, it doesn't really matter. As long as you know where the wind's coming from. We established north yeah, is going yeah. across the map, isn't it? Mm. So, but we can do that, it's fine. It's, you know, visible to people to see. Right, next turn. Okay. So that puts us on turn five. So what we do here, if you notice, I've got a turn bit there. Double click on that. Five. Mm -hmm. Done. I'll turn five. Cool. That's handy. Mm. Wind. Two. Two. And five. So it stays as it is. Yep. Uh, I'm the closest to the wind with that ship. And then it's this ship. And then it's yours, yours, and finally, probably mine. Although, probably him, but he's going to die anyway this turn, yeah. so it doesn't matter what he does. I'll try and tack. Please. Please, please tack. He tacks! Uh, you're not going into the wind. You're... Oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah, that, that does count as in the wind, yeah. Because he's like that, isn't he? Yeah. So he's still facing the wind, just. Mm. So he tacks ever so slightly to get out of the wind, which is there. So he has to be yeah. away from that. Do I stay anchored? It's a big risk, but... I'm going to risk it. You're going to stay anchored. I'm going to stay anchored. Yeah. And turn again. In my normal move. To there. And give you a full broadside. And hope that I hit. I'm going to do that. So we've got, within 10, there's no modifiers. Yeah. So, how many dice you got? So I've got... Are we within eight? Yeah, with seven and a yeah, half. Yeah, you're in there. So I've got one black, two red. No, one black. Uh, you rolled one more red than you should have last time, not let it hit. So it's two blue, one red, one black. Right. Come on, give me crits, give me crits. One crit, and the rest missed. So, with that, I'm taking double two, damage? Two damage, just two damage. Oh, just two damage. So you double if it's uh, okay. ra raking. I thought and it's triple if it's raking. Uh, it depends on where it's coming from. Uh, if it's so from the front, it's double. If it's oh, that's it, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I've only taken two damage, puts it down to 25. Critical is a one. That ain't good. So? Well, it ain't good for me. I think, was it a six was fire? Yeah. The quarter deck. Mm -hmm. So, what does quarter deck do then? No change in direction or level of the sail can be made without passing a skill test. If failed, you continue to move in a straight line at your current sail and suffer a minus one to hit for shooting. So, skill test, otherwise, straight line at whatever sail you're at. And that's when it comes to my activation. Ooh, that could mean you go straight off the table. Because it would be a straight line, two things, and then you remove quarter deck at the end of your turn. Yeah. <laughs> so that actually could have been pivoting. If I go off the board... You come back on next turn. Yes. No, you miss a turn. Miss a turn, I'll and come then back, back on. After, yeah. uh, this guy then, and then... No, no, no. no. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Direction of the wind, yeah. Uh. I'm going to stay at light sail. Yeah. Won't you be... Yeah, go, well, you've got, got no be. choice because you're going against the wind, aren't you? Turn to the wind. You're probably into it now, aren't you? 
and then next turn he anchors unless the wind changes. Okay. Hopefully it'll change to like here and then he can woo! Here come. Here come. So, I want to fire both side. Why not? Dead guys go next. Uh, I got a critical on the island. Yeah. The island's gone. <laughs> well, the sandbank, he just didn't, he just skimmed the water. Yeah. That guy. <laughs> he's gone in. So he's taken 16 damage. Oh, come on. So come cool. on. And they don't got... do it. They don't, they don't fall on the side. Oh, you know, you know what that, what that is, don't you? Ballast. Yeah. Aha! I'll pop it up. So he's gone. Yeah. Ooh. Because they would, they would have hit were clear, wouldn't it, last turn? Yeah. Not that it really matters. <laughs> oh. Same on both sides. Yeah, doesn't matter. So I'm just remove them off his card. So now, it's over to me. Move that off your so card. I've got the quarter, my quarter deck. So that it's a skill check, yeah? Skill check. Can I fire? I can do, can't I? Uh, minus one to shooting if you fire. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you're good to go. Do a, fi a fire as you bears as you sail off into the sunset. I like one. I mean, you might get, you might get this. Yeah. So I've got confidence. You made every every other one so Five far. Five plus. Six? How do you do that? Don't! <laughs> so, you can move and you can shoot and you can do everything you want. So, Twitch, I'm better off moving. Because Fire Arrow will put me. Yes, it will put me in front of the arm and Dark Max movement. Ooh, you cannot go within three inches of that sunbank. I believe. Beauty of sunbanks. I believe I stayed away from it, didn't I? Open it. I read the bloody rule. No, no, that three inches puts you around. I came in here, didn't I? And then got stuck. Yeah, if you look, look at that distance, though, that puts you halfway across it, so your turnings would, would have put you three inches in it anyway. Which turnings? The one just now? You've been on spot turning, haven't you? Yeah. That's three inches, that's on, on, on your hull. In that way, in that case, I should have turned to get away from it. Mm. And it would have probably freed me up ages ago. Let's have a look at what sandbags are. Right? It might not be three, it could be one. I don't know. Small islands. Because if it's a small island as well, I've gone past that island with the rocks. Right, up close, am I? Oh, it's a skill check with a plus two modifier. Yeah. What was I looking at? Shorelines, that's it. Uh, to go over it. So you can just go around it. Yeah, so I've got kind of problem. Yeah, if you want to go over it, it's a skill check with a plus two for your medium ship. Yeah, so I've not, not, not got rid of another. So, two medium then. What? Yeah, I should be able to get past here on the last one. You got stuck on the board. Yeah. There we go, board edge. Oh, he's trying to capsize. That's not good, is it? Uh, this can be a bit of a dangerous one for me. Because five puts me there. Ooh. Now that, that's got me sailing into the wind as well. That has. So, sailing into the wind, and you immediately drop anchor. See, the wind actually plays quite a large... Oh no, that's alright. Yeah? It's when you activate 
So I'm still good. Yeah, for when you turn. when you activate, you can go that far. Yeah. So in that case, then my next five. So it's when you activate. If your high level of sail then is allowed. Yeah. So you actually probably should have not. Oh, hang on, it's not a bad thing actually, because now you'll turn, you're sailing into the wind, you'll drop anchor, and then you can manoeuvre to get out of there, that anchor. You will take a bit of damage, but I think it's passable damage rather than... Because now, that, he put me up mm. the backside. Well, not exactly the backside. No, we're close enough there. But close, but close enough to get a shot off. Yeah. Exactly. Easily close enough to get, get a shot. Thankfully, it isn't raking. No. Thank God. But now, ne next but turn. Everything can fire. Next turn, I'll drop my sails. Mm. Take D3 damage. Is it D3 or D6? Because I finished the movement, I can't drop my sails now, can I? No, it's, D it's, D it's D3 next turn, and mm. then you can then do a turn. Yeah. A single turn. It's a lot easier. So. I believe you said. Unless, of course, the wind changes to be behind you. So I've got two blues. And I've got two blues, one red, one black. And you are hitting on sixes. Yeah. So? Ah, that was a risk. Three. And there's a critical in there as well. So you've got two, four, seven. There's seven damage taken there. So what you're doing. Is you're going to blue, blue health? Yep. Yeah. Then you are that one. Yep. Yeah. Take grade seven. Down press enter. Just go to done. What does enter do? Close enter. The door no, no. It just put, puts a line in. It's kind of keep your own text. Okay. Enter. Okay. Okay. So we're down to twenty. Well, twenty-one. Twenty-one. You're taking the seven damage. damage. Now, see what happens. Oh. Critical. Oh dear. What? Oh dear. What are going to happen? Well, I'm, dro I'm dropping down to like sales. No, for me. Half for you. So, day six. Nothing. You get six. Fire. Oh no! <laughs> My turn to be on fire. And what happens now? Because I think I took damage last time I seen the fire, yeah. didn't it? Yeah, the... Uh, D6 or D3. P6, I believe. D6. D6, sorry. Three. Three. 18. Oof. Nice it's one. 18. And you are striking colours when you get to 12. Uh, right. Now, the unless, last explanation. Unless he does. So, he's dropping down to light sails. Mm -hmm. Alright, I've got one movement. Just put some under five. Cool. Alright. It's a bit annoying, isn't it? Yeah, just tad. Oh, is it it? That is literally oh. just stopping myself from hitting it. Now, when you change the light sails, did you move the wake marker or the ship? If I'd move the wake mark that way. Oh, I'll be watching the video back for that. Yeah. Because I know if I move, move the ship, as I'm like, oh. You're like, oh, I would have hit. Nah. That oh, does. God. He's That's literally it. just manoeuvring around there. I've got one out. So, don't shoot and just get out of there. What the hell are you doing? You're gonna hit it. That is literally gonna hit it. Yeah. Go if I go way. at that angle, yeah, I'm gonna end up hitting it because that, that, that's it. And that's some kind of damage. Swipe it. So. Swiper, no swipey. Swiper, no swipey. Oh, I could have fired as she bears. You can if you want. Yeah, I go for far, far as I oh she bears. Yeah. 
So, uh, what? minus two. The range. I think the range was out. Was it, was it in? Out. Check it all about. Yeah, it would have been out over ten. So, so minus four. Ones. So ones. So ones. Twos. I'm anchored. High end twos. So six and a five. No. So you good? Ooh, for that. The end of that round. That oh, I didn't do the turn, did I? Uh, no, I, I, I did. Okay, so now it's turn six. Yeah, turn six. With the time, it's come at 12 o'clock. Okay. We'll make turn six our last turn. Okay. Because we're going through this quite nicely as to how things go. I really want the wind to change. Yeah. Want to find so out? that you then go straight into the island. Because <laughs> <laughs> at the moment, I can drop down and do a turn, can't I? Yeah. So, win then. No. Eight. Eight stays the same. Uh, the same, innit? Yep. So, starting off, that's your guy all the way over there. Your guy. It's that line. Oh, what is your my guy, guy so My guy, my guy, your guy. Alright, oh, okay. Because it goes down here, doesn't it? It goes across like that. Hmm. So I thought, oh yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm guessing that's what, that's why they did it like that, so you can yeah. put a ruler across. Hmm. So your guy gets to go first. So, with that, and we were saying I. You immediately go to anchored. Go to anchored and take D three. I think you said, didn't you? I've forgotten. Put it from anchored. I might as well just get rid of that. Yeah, from battle to anchored. Mm -hmm. It's D three whole points. So taking D three. Hang on, and apply sail hit result on critical table. Whatever that was. I can't remember what that was now. Look up. Was it a uh, quarter deck or something? A sales hit. For the next activation, the rate of knots is reduced by two. So move at the end of the next activation. Mm -hmm. So I'm down to three. Yeah. So does that mean I can still go? No, no. Yeah, I'm not knocked down to... Um... No, the next activation I'm down to three movement. So what you can do is... So that happens... So yeah, your rate of knots is being reduced to three. Yeah. Now you have the option of moving three and then become anchored or tack, which is a skill test. And if you pass, you turn before deciding your level of sail. You know, we're really amusing. Hang on, but you cannot make any change of sail. Oh, no, no. What? As soon as you activate, you use diagonal below, blah, 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 relation to the ship, and no special sail for that turn. If you are currently at a higher sail level than is allowed, your ship immediately drops down to the level indicated and cannot further change its level of sail this activation. If forced to drop two levels, take the, the damage. If, when activated, you are facing into the wind and the ship was moving in the previous activation, yeah. you can either move forward your rate of knots and become anchored, or can attempt to get out of the wind by tacking. To tack, make a skill check tack when activated. If you pass, turn the ship before deciding your sail level. Turn the minimum amount needed to get just out of the wind, even if it exceeds your angle. It then continues activation as normal. If the test is failed, you instead move forward its rate of not before coming anchored, taking damage as indicated above. That literally contradicts everything. 
So as soon as you have an indicator, look at the diagram and determine. So tacking should have been before the damage thing. Yeah. So you do tacking. I've not put your damage on there anyway. Okay, so at the moment now, I can either tack or... Tack or then it's take damage. If you fail your tack, take damage and anchor and move forward. Whatever your rate of knots was. Was, not... Or is. Alright. So I'd have to move five, not get reduced down to three. No, you would be... Yeah, uh, The joys of rules complications. Yeah, that's brilliant. <laughs> I like it. You seem to know what you're tacking about. That is absolutely the best. <laughs> so it's attempt to tack, then become anchored. So they should have put, if you're facing the wind, you attempt to tack. Because there's, there's no logical reason that you would actually become anchored. You would always attempt the skill, the skill check. Almost failing a skill check means you can't do anything from that turn. But I don't think it does. So yeah. do a skill check and see, and see what happens. Okay. And we'll have to look up after the game whether doing the skill check right. and failing it. So a skill anything. check on a five, then, yeah? Yeah. Two. So you fail it, you take D3 damage. D3, which is? You get your sails hit and then you move. Whoa, 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 slow down, slow down. D3 damage. Take three, three damage. Then you have the sails hit. So, sails hit now. Now you reduce your speed by two. Yep, so I'm down to three movement. You make a final move and then become anchored. So, you're going to love this. A final move, yeah? So, three inches. Because it puts me... There, not hitting. Final movement. I can still turn as well, can't I? Uh, because all it says is final movement. Then I become anchored. I suppose, yeah. So? Don't say you can't. Raking. Bollocks. <laughs> you have all the luck. And he's anchored. I will be kind. I'm in three inches of that island. Do I take damage? If you are already anchored when you activate, you may turn the angle. Which is what, what you've been doing. But Why you weren't you... anchored when you were activated. No, it just says, do your movement. Yeah, so you go forward, then become anchored. Yeah. But you can't turn. You can only turn if you are anchored at the start of your movement. Thank. God for that. So, I'm still moving then, yeah? No, you're now anchored. Yeah. Next turn, you count as anchored, then you can turn. It's just a case of where you said, you do yeah, your movement, so then you're anchored. You do your movement, and then you become anchored. Yeah. So moving so, includes the turn, doesn't it? No. Doesn't it? Because it moves then turn, then, does it say? That's if you tack. Hang on. Uh, tack skill test, right? If passed, yeah. 
Turn the ship before you decide on the level of sail, turning the minimum amount needed to take just up the wind even if it exceed. It then continues to activation as normal. If the test is failed, you instead move forward its rate of knots before becoming anchored, taking There you go, yeah, yeah, you've got to say move, move forward its knots, yeah, yeah. So that means before you just taking damage. That'd be four damage. You go five. No, I'll go three, you said. Then you take the damage. Yeah. Then you take the sail hit. So you fail the skill test, you make one final move, then that applies. So you are actually on the island. So if forced They should have just put that right. here. If you force to drop two levels, take D3 points of damage, and I'll fire the critical head. Uh, so I was in the wind, therefore I'll take the D3 D3 points damage and apply the effect. Yeah, but this happens before that become anchored or attempt to attack. If you become anchored, you follow. So your choice is, actually, your choice was. I could have just anchored. Anchor and take the damage or try the test. Move and then do that. Well, if knowing that, I would have just uh, anchored. Mm. Go back. Because I was still, still in your fire arc, why not? No. Oh, just go back three, wasn't it? Yeah, well, was I, 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 I was in your, your fire arc because I fired back here, didn't I? Didn't I turn though? Last turn. Yeah, you turned, oh, but then it was my last two guys, wasn't it? So we go back three from there. I'm pushing back to there. Yep, which means you're not in the fire arc. Uh, okay, yep. So, from there, I'll be So, you become anchored. Yep. You took your damage already. You now got your sails hit. Yep. The move three thing doesn't really apply now because it's until the end of activation. Right. Excellent. Right. And that's all the ships. No. No. Because that was going first. Yeah, let's took these off. You're saying that one's going first before that one. So that one's next, yeah. then it's that one, then it's that one. That one, then that one, yeah. Mm. So, distant one. So this guy actually can sail into the wind without any penalty. The next turn, he goes bleh. Hmm. But he is going to do light sail and conserve his energy. Then my guy, who has the fire token. If you want to see what happens that first, I'm going to try and put it out. Then if you don't, you take damage. And the wind is behind me. Yeah, it's hit, hitting the, this bit, so you'd be able to go out battle. Okay. So I'm not going to try to put it out with an exceptionally good skill test. I'm just going to try to not On the side, test. yeah. So that's a six. Yeah. It goes out. That's what I did. Straight up to, bat to battle sail. Yep. And then I'm going to... Yeah. I'll go five. Yep. Turn like that, it should theoretically put me in your arc. Theoretically, yep. Shoot you and then get out of there. Mm. Yeah, because you wouldn't be able to break right thing. Yeah, yeah, because even if I went down there, I wouldn't get that far. Yeah. I don't have to be behind the island. So, over 10. It's over 10, but it's within 14, so I get the extra dice for my light guns. Small ship as well. Small ship, so 
minus three twos. A one! Crack a one. Oh, so that is two damage. Yep. Two damage and a five. Where's Red Health? Oh, that's his first damage. Mm -hmm. Extra damage on structure. Ooh. The ship's hull and superstructure took a hammer in, roll D3 and add the result to the total damage. One. Yes! Bloody hell. <laughs> Bloody hell, it couldn't have been good, so it's three damage. And then I'm gonna go five. If I make a turn that way, will I avoid the island? You're gonna have to, aren't you? Man, a sandbank would be, be, be a test, won't it? Sorry, sandbank. There we go. Okay. Yeah. So he's done, he's done. My last guy. Your last guy. So he'll go to bad battles. Mm -hmm. I don't want that, okay. So? Five. No, we're doing. We are on blue health. Adds up. Ooh, red, you're red, aren't you? I'm you're red, yes. currently in the lead. Yes, I am. I was doing all right until then two misses, which then then you came round round and got a broadside down my rear and jammed my rudder and made me go into the sandbank. Funnily, a one or a two would have seen me right. Yeah. But I couldn't roll a one or a two when I needed to. I could only roll it when I don't need to. Oh no, isn't it awful? Yeah. I want to carry on until turn nine. Although three, three more turns, I don't think we're going to do much. No, that's it. Because now, that's the turn done. He'll... He's up against the wind now. On his next turn. Mm. I can get a few pot shots maybe, but that's it. Mm. This guy's not coming in. Then I've got that to do something to you as well. So that is the end of turn six. Mm -hmm. Damage wise. You could end up making that strike colours. What's it strike at? Seven. Seven, yeah. Yeah. You then probably, you'll you probably are make striking. Your strike before then. Yeah, because you're striking at twelve. This this guy's struggling to get back in now. Mm. Cause what what I could do to be annoying is that's gonna activate for you before the wind moves, depending. So we'll Roll to see where the wind goes, because it's determined who would win. So, five and four, nine. So it doesn't, doesn't change. Yeah. So, do it mean you would go first? He's not doing anything. Yeah. That He'll guy, go next. Then that guy. He's uh, anchored uh, now, isn't he? Then me, then you. Yeah, but he's anchored now. He's anchored, anchored, so you can you can turn and fire. Yeah. So... Do you want to do this last turn see what happens? Because it would be the deciding Why one. not? Why not? Right, do you want to change the turn mark to seven then? It's all fun and games, isn't it? Yeah. It, we, it's too close, I think, at the minute. Yeah. Too too close. But this one should be a decider after the damage taken. Yep. Yeah. So I've got 38 and you've got... 42. So there's only four damage points in it. Yeah. So you'll do this. And so you move your one over there. Your I'll try and tack. Yeah, you have to run in the wind. So he, he just goes. Bleh. Doesn't take any damage because of the wind? It's light sails, so it goes down to anchored. Yeah, so he's fine. Now, my guy's anchored. 
Mm -hmm. So he can just turn and then he'll be able to shoot you. Yep. Sand bank, that ain't blocking on a side. Nope. So all he does is just turn a little bit then. Mm -hmm. We are looking, that's over 14. That's got to be, hasn't it? Yeah. Two blues. Two blues. Minus two. Yeah, so threes. Yeah. Good. Six and a three. I've got one hit, so that's two damage. Oh, my blue, aren't I? Yep. So it's down to 16. Yeah. Which makes it six. Six difference. Yeah. So let's see what you can do. Shooting your big guy. Yeah, because if you shoot at the small one, you're getting the minus hit straight off. All I can you? do really is come round and round and then shoot you. We'll try that. Up to five, yeah. It turns up. I think I'll be out of range when I finish this, you know. Fine enough, I was just wondering about that. Because that's got the rocks in them, hasn't it? That <gasps> is in range. All I've got to do is get a turn on you. So that is literally all I needed to do. Is that I think, more or less. Now you could say part of your broadside is going over the tip of the island there. Yeah. Oh, battle sail, isn't it? Yeah. So that does it. And you've only got partial. You've got, only got half of my shipping line there, not all of it, but... Wiggle the angle. Yeah, you're good to shoot. Wiggle the angle, like a, a little degree makes about 10 feet of difference, doesn't it? Yeah. Two shots. Long distance. Long distance, but you're anchored, so plus, plus one, minus two. So that'll be on four speed. Nope, two sevens. Special reroll for cheating. Seven Extra special reroll for cheating. Yeah, two hits. Now, he's. I don't understand the chance at this game, do I? I just can't roll low. He's in, in the wind. <laughs> he is in the wind. What's he at? He's at batter cells at the moment. <laughs> so you can either attack or just drop anchor and take d3 damage. If I take the attack, I'll stop, I don't take damage, do I? No. And... Sorry? And, 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 and... If you fail the attack, I don't think you can shoot, can you? Uh, I don't think so, no. Yeah, because you just move straight forward and then anchor and yeah. fail it. But if you don't fail it, you can actually turn and then come at me. So, we'll do that. Which might be enough damage to cause something cool. Yeah, so... Yeah. On a five? I like cool. No. No. So, I just move forward and take D3 damage. You move forward five and take D3 damage. So, D3 is three damage. Now so you get the six. <laughs> So that does mean I win by three. And that doesn't it? Yep. That's down to 17, down to 14. So the score is 
two, three, 39 versus 36. Close. That was very close, yeah. Let's go drive to the, the other seat. Because what, what we'll do now. I'd like to see what a difference all the upgrades and the stuff would make. And of course, we never even considered the fact. We, we all we both forgot when you're not when you're not shooting, you could repair. Yes. Oh well, I'm fine. Yeah. I knew I could, but then I needed the next turn to shoot, because if you repair you don't shoot the next turn. You don't shoot in that turn. So if, you, oh, if you're not shooting turn. in that oh. turn you can repair. And the amount of times that that shoot we need, was, we needed to shoot pretty much each was, time. was not able to shoot for ages. And I was just like, ah, it's not damage. This is so something um, you need to Works remember about. Has that. said is obviously we didn't end up ordering one another and fighting to the death. Unfortunately, that was one bit we didn't end up covering. Yeah, we even though we said we'd try it. Yeah. So should we uh, show people how it works? Um. Well, that choice would be yours here in um, just to show how, how it would work. Because both ships must be travelling at light sails, battle sails are anchored, and the hulls must be within three inches. The active ship makes a skill test. If successful, both ships become immediately, st immediately stop and become grappled. While grappled, they cannot shoot. Place them side by side, with both turning the minimum amount of possible. And now they make their attacks. So actually, to do it, you'd have to roll a five up. Alright. So the odds of it happening are a bit limited. Yeah, it'll be... Even more... though you've managed it so many times. I know. So it'll be a bit awkward doing that at the moment. So yeah, and then... It's bad as it does sound. You can actually shoot at grapple ships if you want. But both ships take damage. Hmm. So, I but believe... you can't inflict critical on them. No, so I believe that is hmm. our game done for the night, then, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we didn't actually do weather, so I'll just quickly tell people about weather, and then we'll we'll call it. Mm -hmm. um, so weather. There is fog and rain. Yep. So fog and rain is unpredictable. Intensity and scale. Uh, pose significant challenges. These two phenomena are either small, up to 10 by 10, medium, 15 by 15, or large, 20 by 20 in width. They may be any shape, but we suggest a round oval, a round or oval. They are deployed at the start of the game and will remain in play until the end of the game. They block line of sight through them. Additionally, any vessel that enters one immediately becomes invisible to the enemy <laughs> and cannot be targeted. Of course, they cannot fire for themselves. Any vessel entering a weather feature cannot exceed battle sails after entry, it being too dangerous even for veteran crews to navigate blind. Once the vessel emerges from the template, it acts as normal. So. That basically would be a 20, a 10, 15 or 20 inches, which is quite a lot. That's quite far. Well, so if you chose the big one, you could have a rain squall that was that wide in a big circle. So, but that seems to be the only thing for weather. Right. Hmm. Uh, is there anything to do like uh, choppy seas? Uh, there doesn't seem to be any choppy seeness. Um, oh, actually, no. Tell a life there is. The weather is conditions. So before you start the game, roll a d6 and consult the table below. Or Oops. agree with your opponent how your seas are acting. So we basically were calm seas. Calm. No modifiers. At the start of each turn, a tiny or small ship is on the table in rough seas, takes one point of damage. In stormy, such vessels take D3. So Ooh. tiny or small ships actually in rough seas and stormy seas take damage. 
So, on a roll of a one, you add one to the hit numbers of all gun positions. Is it smooth as a glass pond? Two to four is calm, on a five is rough, apply minus one to the hit modifiers. A successful skull test will be needed to go above light sails, and no ship can travel at full sails. Oh, and on no. a six, apply a minus two to hitting, and ships may only travel at light sail. So this is what's so, it difficult with uh, the weather conditions. Yeah, so let's see. We would have had calm. So <laughs> we would have been alright anyway, So we? as we played. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Also, you can actually leave wrecks that have been sunk on the table and they count as shorelines, rocks or islands. Yeah. So you take collision damage when you hit them. Well that's quite good then. So it's... So even if uh, you do lose a ship, you can still... Uh... But if the weather changes, they disappear. As oh. the weather changes, it causes... I like that, because it means literally if... Um... You've got a ship going for another one, and that front gun's managed to, well, if it's a frigate, that front gun's sink managed it. to sink it. You think, yeah, great. It. You think, I'm oh, sure it's brilliant, but then you've got collision damage. Yeah. Ooh. So I think we need to make some little markers for mm. ships that have been sunk. Right, so, all in all, I think, I think it actually comes with markers, to be honest. So, playing with the majority of the four rules, that's worked out quite, yeah, it worked out quite well. So we both found out how collisions um, work. <laughs> as far as all the stuff on the table, all the scenery and stuff, I don't think it was that important. It made manoeuvring a little bit harder, but I think it made it more fun than a plane at board. Yeah. So yeah, I'd I'd like to try different crews, uh, you know, different crews um, using the upgrades for the crews. Yeah. And national characteristics, because as we said last time, you had there were bits we could have knew. The French, mm, which is what you would bad. Well, the French, yeah, that's fine. They don't suffer. Minus two for aiming high, the only suffer minus one. And they don't suffer any penalty when chain shot is. So, right. nothing that would change to uh, the outcome. And the British get a plus one to hit modifier when shooting. Oh. And each British ship can re-roll one failed skill test per game. So, so the British are way better. Yeah, you're going to take British most times, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Mm. And then you could have some of the abnormalities. The French do get streamlined. Yeah. So they get streamlined holds for 20 points rather than, I think it was 40. Makes sense, yeah. Streamlined is 30. So add one to your rate of knots the first time you move per activation. So your ships become move six for the first move. Um, and they get double planking. Uh, for 40 points, which is sturdy. Oh, yes. Add uh, uh, saying that, though, Ooh. they also get the bottle of wine as well. Don't forget that. Because uh, works per the French also get a free baguette per ship. Yes. Uh, which, you know, increase the gunnery by plus two. Yeah. For every baguette you give them. Uh, but yeah, it's sturdy. Ship com comes with shipments of tea. Sturdy <laughs> yes. would have made it very interesting. Yeah. Sturdy at 40 points compared to 60 points adds 20 hull points. So you would normally pay 60 points. Who gets sturdy? Uh, French. French. Ooh. So you, as a British player, could have sturdy, but it would cost you 60 points. I could have sturdy with French for 40. Bear in mind that a French brig costs. 80, that's double its hit points, but only half the cost more. That's not too bad, that's not Whereas too bad. it's double the hit points for three quarters the cost more for a British. Hmm. So, you could. Uh, do you, would you rather hit better or would you rather have more hull points? That is the question, isn't mm. it? I suppose it all depends on who you don't, but that's quite interesting. And if you take the Lot Orient, hmm. that is a 
the flagship of the French fleet and it's got plus one to hit when targeting the British. And it always explodes on an unmodified roll of one on a skill test to extinguish flames, even if you take the plus two modifier. <laughs> so yeah, you get plus one to hit, but because you've got all the bloody ammo all over the place... <laughs> You're going to buy yourself up. Oh god. Oh! The Bucentaur is an 80 gun ship of the line for the French. Mm -hmm. Can make an additional turn at any point during its move. Ooh. On top of its normal change in direction, the Buccaneer can make an additional change of direction during any part of its move. So it can make four turns in a turn if it's going at battle sail. Yeah. That makes it extremely manoeuvrable. And it gets plus one to skill tests. Nice. It costs 370 points, but it's got three heavy, three light, and two colonnades. On its broadside. That is ridiculous. That's good. 84 hit points. Mm. So that's a pretty big ship then. Yeah. Right. Hmm. What's that then? Yeah. So that's a bit done. Um, I've really enjoyed that. I, I think it's a brilliant game. I mm. can't wait to get the ships. I'm actually tempted just to tell Warlord Games I want the full deal so we can get these nice ships earlier. It would only cost me 600 quid. Maybe something different then. We get them two two weeks before release. I well, think I'm saying it, it doesn't matter so, if we get it two weeks before release anyway, because you might be really. using that ship to so just stick to its normal. But in all fairness, what's, side stop, what's like stopping us putting flags on wake markers or making little bits of wooden ships ourselves? Yeah. So with some brass rodder sails. That's it done then. It worked out as a victory for the British. Mm -hmm. Just, just. Uh, it was a close one thing, but I think. Turning point was like turn three when I managed to get a bonus on you and went, Yay, rake you! and just miss. It did change as well when I put out that fire. When you put the fire out and then went, Okay, straight through <clears throat> and blew my rudder off, that basically en en ended that ship's life as it went straight toward the island. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that change in wind was actually critical to the, the only time it did change. It changed and it threw everything off for the French. Mm. Um, I went from going, the British are screwed now because they're going to be having to go into the wind. And it turned out you had to And then it that. turned and I had to go into the wind immediately. It was like, oh no, my whole fleet just went. <laughs> a successful skill test saw him go across and try and broadside you, getting a, was it a 10 and an 8 to hit, which was pathetic. What well, it did turn. It... It wasn't surprising, as soon as you managed to get out of that arc of combat, trying to get back in, obviously, like this little guy over here, but I said, how long it took him to try and get back in, obviously, mm. did he? But I'm... Try, try, try as he might. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think we should have a game. Maybe mm. next week. Well, I'm fine enough, I was just about to say, because obviously we got to the point of the video as well. What will we will be doing next week? Is there anything new coming out? Um, it's I this game. No, from... Games Workshop, but they've got the new books coming out for 40k and AOS. That's just where they've got the rules. 40k? Yeah, um, the rules book. They're doing a rules book for AOS and for 40k where it's just everything in one. Oh. Because, so more money to spend then. Yeah, because they're also doing one for Blood Bowl. Which yes. is everything into one, so you don't need to look for several books. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it on their side of things. I don't think it will be like all the Alan Lacks together. I think it's just. Uh... The, is, is it an updated rule book or is it? Um, what they've said is. Because there's rumours of them updating the game anyway, isn't there? It says it's year. everything you need in one book. So you'll have everything you need to be doing the leagues rather than going through Death Zone 1 yeah, and 2 and your star players. Be interesting and to see needing it your own like, to do stuff should all be comprised yeah, into one book. Be but to see. I don't think it will be because they're quite thick books, the almanacs. I mean, two almanacs. But that saying thick. that, bear in mind with the almanac, there's a lot of background stuff in there as well. I suppose, yeah. No, so they'll probably, probably just keep it purely to the rules. Okay. But, but yeah, I think. Uh, I think Games Workshop side of things for a video. I think maybe. I don't know, do you want to look at that? I don't know. I think I'd much rather just have another game of this. Well, but what do our viewers want? 
Well, that's it as well. So, do you want to see the new stuff from Games Workshop that we probably won't have? Because I won't have ordered it. In time. Oh, well, I've not ordered it because I've yeah. sent Carl the order. Okay. So, so we won't have it unless they order it online. Watch your space. We'll see what gets played. Or. Yeah. Rule book wise. Uh, I think we could do something completely different. Hmm. We should be signing by Wednesday, end of Wednesday with Twitch. There will be a post going up on our page. And if obviously our viewers want to tell us what they want us to do, well, that's it as well. Funny well, enough, we did have um, a couple of people actually say they wanted to see this show, yeah. and it turned out it was the week that we got all the stuff in. So, well, oh, brilliant, we'll do it. Yeah. So, yes. So, either we play a game of this with additional. Actually, go for a snow. Stuff. Yeah. Do a scenario, make a fleet of X points, and uh, take it from there. See what happens. Uh, or we do something you guys want us to do. So, until then, well, thank you for viewing. Like, subscribe, comment. If you're on Twitch, share. follow us. The usuals, yes, share as well. Share! And we shall catch you next week. Bye. Catch you later, guys. Well,